Okay. We all ready? Yeah, we're ready. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just, I'm ready to start while I'm looking at this. Alright. So you have all been called out to a relatively sizable building because they've been having some strange problems. Uh, minor tremors, earthquakes, and just vibrations have been echoing throughout the and uh, kind of threatening their quiet way of life. Uh, some local wildlife has gone a bit mad. They've been able to fend it off, but uh, they want to just hang out and be a village and not have to deal with that. So they've uh, contracted some adventurers to find the source of this problem and deal with it. So you all arrive serendipitously at the same time at the town gate uh, to find out more about this problem from the uh, people with it. If we want to do just basic character introductions, um, um, starting from okay. Estelle. Uh, th my name is Juggernaut. This is Estelle Lotus, a small sprite fairy paladin. And then, Nyx. Um, so that's me. <coughs> yeah, that will be you. Uh, this is Cam. He's like a... Um, how would I describe it? Um, he's from uh, more of a dense jungle village, and uh, he kind of just steals stuff and takes stuff. That's about it. Um, okay, so I guess that would be uh, my character. Um, yes, I, I, I can see... Um, so I'm just trying to think how to properly. Uh, my character's name's as you can see, Aura. Um, words are hard. Just move on to the barbarian. Why? <laughs> Gravel. I'm Gravala Silent Walker Kulamabi. You're cutting on on us, man. Bro, did, did you get rid? Okay, good. Yeah, you you super noise gate like, or something. Oh no. Uh, you're loud for like a split second, then it goes really quiet. Yeah, I think your auto adjustment is screwing with your. How do I sound now? Yeah, that's good. Uh, so, so I'm Gravhal Silent Walker Kulamavi. I'm a Goliath Barbarian from the East Mountains, Badlands, fallen off of, and have since been venturing around the world with <laughs> Solve my problems with my giant muscles. Yeah, you're, you're still cutting out real bad, my dude. Fuck! Okay, well, he tries to figure that out. I think I have enough. So, uh, my character, or a thing, uh, is, appears to be humanoid. You know, it's fairly normal looking at human. Um, but it's actually a vampire. Uh, wearing what seemed to be fine quality, but all torn up travel gear, and has a, a piece of black cloth tied around the lower half of her face. About it. Can you? Is it better now? I'm gonna keep talking for a little bit. How is, it, is it cutting out at all? Is it cutting out? No, it's okay. It seems okay now. All right, we'll try this one last time, just like the Spider Verse movie. So I'm Grav Hall, Silent Walker, Pulamavi. I'm a Goliath Barbarian from the Badlands Mountains of the East, and I've fallen from those mountains, so I haven't been able to find my tribe again, and I've been venturing where I'm since. Perfect. Okay, dokie. Alright, so we are supposed to approach the town, right? Yeah, so you've all arrived here, uh, you've been told 
uh, to seek information from uh, Scrift Sprogwallow uh, about directions and just talk to the town folk for any general information. Okay. I'm going to fly in. Do uh, you guys want to split up for this or? Uh. Walk. Right. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Oh, we'll just go to the middle then. Oh, wait, no. You guys are all splitting up. Okay. <laughs> okay, we're all splitting up, it seems. How long does it take the whole group to go in different directions? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you gotta go to the tavern first. I was thinking of the town square first, what but is, okay. So, what is this house around in front of? Or is it just like right now? Just someone's house? Uh, they're all just kind of people's homes you're standing in front of. You do notice. There's like a bunch of loose shingles that have just been knocked off of the top and just like anything that looks um, not well put into place has been either like knocked out of any of the building. Mm -hmm. Shingles, siding, uh, bricks. So kind of cohesive with the tremors and earthquakes that have been happening. Yeah. Uh, do I see anyone in this house? Uh, you do see a person, yes. Uh, can I make them out? Can I get a description, or...? Uh, they just look like a human man, tan skin. I wish I was well, looking through their window. How old? We could just knock on the door. <laughs> 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 this guy is already uh, planning to steal from them, isn't he? Maybe like... Uh, I'm going this way. Okay. Uh, is there like... Is he like looking in my direction, or... Was... <laughs> we... We don't. We don't know these. We don't know these people. He, he's just sitting at a table eating. <laughs> I, I really want to. Talk. <laughs> you see the scared man staring at him through his window. Actually, okay, okay, okay. Um. All right, go. Why don't you just go knock on the door? Go knock on the door. I'm knock on the door. I'm like staying on the door. All right, one moment, please. Mike, Mike. So, I don't know, like, my strength type they bang on the door, right? Okay. Sorry, I, I accidentally bang on it a little too hard. So why don't you make a strength check, though? <laughs> oh, this is going swimmingly! Oh, <laughs> that's, a, that's a nat 20. Alright! Oh. I accidentally rolled strength save, so well, it's still it, it's it's okay. still a twenty, okay. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Right. You destroy the the door is no longer a door. It's, it's you you punch it down. All right. So oh, you okay. just you're just like knocking on the door. Knock back, knock. Like, <laughs> exactly. Knock knock. Third one, like your fist just kind of basically <laughs> punches the door, and uh, you splinter the wood a bit. Uh, kind of near the hinges, you can see that it's starting to fall off like the top hinge a bit. I just kind of just stand in the door with my hand up, like in the knocking position. And you hear from uh, with it, what the hell is going on? Uh, okay, so Tim, you see uh, the man run uh, through uh, uh, the apparent kitchen, leads in into another. Okay, so can I? Let's see. Hmm. So, can I, is there like a way I can get into this window, or will I have to like break? Uh, make an investigation check. Uh, yeah. wait, I forgot. Let me see. It's from this one. Hold on, I just exited out of my checks. <laughs> Um, how do I bring up my checks again? Uh, so, you go to window, uh, campaign. So on the top left window, so campaign, select your token, and then do... check, investigation. Yeah. Skill check. It doesn't look like it opens from this side. You would definitely probably have to break some glass to get in. Okay. Uh, Don't okay. break the glass. <laughs> you might be a little distracted. That's all I'm going to say. 
I like, I, I kind of like, go oh, like, like humble and like, can I, grab, go can I like, can I stealthily, so like, can I stealthily like, like, break his window open? Is that, is that even a possibility? Probably not. How would you stealthily break? Ah, uh, okay. You know what? We're just, uh, I want this sandwich. I want whatever he's eating. I'm breaking the, the window. <laughs> okay, one moment. So, I'll, I'll this guy. <laughs> this guy comes to the front door. Yeah. I'm like trying to take the little scraps and like trying to repair the door like from that scene in Monsters Inc. <laughs> Oh, oh, what in hell are you doing out here? Sorry, sorry, I'm I'm here to help. I'm just I'm just trying to get some information. Oh, you're doing a great job so far. What the hell are you doing? I, I didn't mean to. I don't I don't know. <laughs> I, I, I didn't mean to break the door. I'm I'm really sorry. As long as you fix it. Oh, I'm trying. Grab more scraps and just putting it back as best he can. Okay. <laughs> Failing to hold the door. Grabs another like, piece of I grab another piece and it all falls apart again. <laughs> <laughs> like go and falls out. Uh, you're so, not gonna do it like that. You got so. Oh, gosh. So do I? How, how tall is this door, by the way? Uh, shorter than you. That's <laughs> <laughs> so when he's picking up, he'll be standing up and like, ah! I'm pretty sure you mean it was shorter than him. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, do I successfully break the door? Uh, the window? I mean the window, yeah, yeah, the window. Alright, are you just, like, punching it? What are you hitting with? Um... I'll take... Oh, you're gonna do it, you gotta push, push the window in. Let me see... I have a right red source. Oh. <laughs> you know what, let's... I'm already... He's already gonna know, so why not just make it extra? Alright. All right. I'm gonna take out my sword sword. And just like jam it in and just like move up and down with my sword sword so I can like make room in the class. It feels really weird not being the one committing the crimes. <laughs> I, I, I didn't, like, this dude's gonna think that this was all like a distraction <laughs> for my partner to break it. We're taking this sandwich, boys. You so really want it. So you wet your sword into like the side of the window paint, trying to at least marginally. Uh, make it quiet, but it absolutely isn't. All right, boys, we're just busting it in. All right. Um, I've had Jack do that I, for a I, amount of money. I, never so, okay, it's not working, or can it, like after that? Oh no, you do it, but okay. You you break the glass, but you break a pane of it, and it's not enough for you to get in, but you can like feel around it. All right, then. All right, we we'll, we we'll move the face to it. All right, we set back. I'm gonna step back and I'm gonna rush through and break this window with my whole entire body. God. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> two members of our party failed, man. <laughs> yeah, we're gone. <laughs> They're not even on the map. <laughs> no, we're we're prepared. Oh no, no, no. no, no, no. We'll get to them. Talking to them. To we'll them. get we'll get so to them like, later. You so guys, I, I kind of like want to do this bit of elegance so I can like do a tumble. No, yes, yeah, like, do it. Yes, like, stuck there with the window thing. Is that like? So like, would that be you're like not, an acrobatics check? You're not check? leaving. Acrobatics. Gravity on staying right. Okay. So you back up, get a running start, make an acrobatics. Alright, boys, here we go. Uh, grab hall, you see. Uh, here we go. <laughs> you see the do man. I, do I see him breaking in? <laughs> no, there's a uh, doorway. <laughs> you still have to stay there, cause. Uh, but you do see him uh, kind of react to uh, a shattering of glass that you also hear <laughs> from the back. I just, I'll, like, uh, <laughs> uh, fuck. I, I feel like I should break something else at this door oh, to make him not go that way. This is a Uh, I'll ask, I'll ask, I'll, I'll, I'll be like, I, hey, I was, I'm sorry I broke your door. Do you want me to come investigate that with you? Uh, I mean, this is, this is what the hell is that? Which is some blanks to... Alright, 
still can't. You kind of back up against the wall, push off of it to get a running start, and you slam, like, head first into one of the crossbars that are on the door. God. Or a window, rather. (laughs) Okay. Uh, You take take one point of damage. (laughs) (laughs) Good job. Oh, man. How how tall is this house? Like, am I about to crouch and be awkward? Uh, you had to crouch to get okay. in by, uh, you're fine standing. I'll, uh, I'll grab one of the, like, remnants of the door oh, to, uh, go repair this window. Wait, where's my, uh... How do I take damage to myself again? Uh, apparently someone did it for you, but... Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, it's in the campaign macros, it's under combat, it's the red one. Okay. Uh... What were you doing? Grabbing something? Grab a yeah, I'll grab like, his food. the remnant, remnants of the oh. <laughs> did, he, did he make it in? Uh, no, he, he kind of hit his head and is now face planted. Gotcha. Like, God, God. <laughs> so the guy God. said, like, the, like, the, the, uh, block up the window, right? So I'll grab, like, whatever pieces of the door that I think will work to, like, fix this window that broke. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, I heard so, the you, so you both walk back into the kitchen. What the hell? Oh no, you're on it. Now you're outside. <laughs> you break the <laughs> Kool-Aid man through the wall. <laughs> I don't know, man. Your house sucks. What the hell did this? <laughs> kind of looking inside to see if there was like a rock or a ball thrown through his... Uh, uh, do, I, do I see him outside? Uh, um... Do you stand up, Kim? No, I'm, I'm sneaking. Okay. So, so unless you, like, look down or anything. I, yeah, I mean, I, I look, like, while he's looking that way, like, in his own house, I'll look outside. Alright. Uh, like, I'll wave at him. If I see him looking, I'll wave at him. <laughs> I see him trying to, like, army crawl away from the situation. I, I wave back, like, really excited, and then it kind of clicks, and then I grab, like, the wood and try to, like, just force it on to the, uh, the wall. Okay. I have Smith's tools. I don't know if that matters. It's not quite what you need, but it, there, there's hammer, and I'm sure there Perfect. could be. Okay. There. All right, so is there, like, any damage to, like, my face or anything? Like, can someone tell I just, like, tried to bust the little nose? You have a bomb. broken nose. Uh, you might have, like, a bruise on, like, your, uh, forehead right in between your eye. Maybe a little bit of blood, but otherwise, no, you're fine. Alright, so I'm gonna walk into this house. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna call his name, like, hey, what's up, buddy? How's it going? He's not my name yet. Who's this guy just walking into this house? <laughs> so it's like, I was like, w- what happened? Someone's trying to break into my house, apparently. Breaking my wall. Bring my window, Sorry, bring my door. I really didn't mean to, it was an accident. I mean, uh, that'll do for yeah. now until the carpenter is done. You know what, um, I'll take a look at the door damage, and let's see, uh, like, how much would this cost to fix? I mean, like it's like, it's cheap wood, cheap nails, uh, maybe a carpenter would ask for, like, five silver for it all together. Okay. So I walk back to him, I'm like, well, uh, I apologize about uh, what my friend did here today. I'll be back uh, tomorrow with uh, some, some, uh, I'll bring you something that is worth one gold to uh, repay you, to repay you for your troubles. Uh, where's the sandwich? Uh, it's just sitting on a kitchen table. Look. You could also yeah. just give me I'll one start right now. Uh, I don't have it with me. I have to go home and uh, get it. I'll bring it back tomorrow. Yeah, uh, get out of my house. Go. <laughs> I'm trying. He, he like grabs a broom and starts whacking you, or just kind of prodding you. All right, I run it and I take the sandwich and I get out. What? How is it usually that causes more problems than you fix at this point? Get back here! Is there any other food in this house? <laughs> don't run, don't run to us. 
Hey guys, what's up? No. <laughs> Who are you again? Watch my mouth, please. This is a very interesting well. This is a great. I mean, I'm sorry. I'm just I'm enjoying the shit out of this right now. <laughs> I hope y'all are having fun as well. We'll get to the mission eventually, it's, don't worry. It's so weird seeing this situation from the outside instead of the inside. <laughs> like, as all oh, Estelle saw was you guys going in a bit of noise and she's like, Well, okay, I don't know these two people. I, I was not expecting anyone to be like, I'm gonna be sneaking through this window and eat a sandwich. It's all part of the plan, boys. Uh, there's like some bread, some very uh, basic, some very basic like dried meats. Mm. I will point out it's not my fault. Uh, the twenty. Like how much? Like how much would this be worth? Like to make the sandwich that I have? <laughs> not much. <laughs> Are you trying to sell the sandwich? <laughs> like a couple of copper, and it uh, has bites in it already. No, he's gonna eat. It. Well, uh, is this like a, an upper middle class town, or is it like, is there like poor people here or something? Uh, it's a bit podunk. So, uh, do I see like a poor kid walking around or something? Uh, not in this area. And also, um, one well, well, second well, adds well, grab all leaves. At least eat. He's oh, just well. kind of, he's standing there bewildered, just kind of looking <laughs> into the market, trying to find. <laughs> oh, I'm behind this stand. There we go. I went off like a piece of my, uh, my little, uh, fuck, what's it called? We'll say I'm wearing like a kilt, because I'm not, because I'm an armor, you don't have any armor. Yeah. But I'll rip off like a piece of my kilt and hand it to him and just be like, it's one of a kind, it's from my tribe up in the Badlands Mountains. It's, it's rare, I'm sorry. And then I, <laughs> Wow, those still like the shit. You know, just a thousand yard stare while watching you go. <laughs> <laughs> I walk like all valiantly because you know I'm a seven ten, muscle bound, three axe wielding motherfucker. Yeah, I, I guess I'll just like meet up with these guys and start eating my sandwich. All right. So uh, before uh, all of that happens, they get to talk to someone. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You guys approach. Uh, okay, uh, so I approach. I approach this man. I hear the noise at the back. I see those two being shenanigans, and I'm like, "Well, hi, mate. Hi, mate. Uh, maybe speak and ask about this person called uh, Skiff Scarwello." Yes, Sprawlwallow, you mean? Ah, yes. I. Uh, it's difficult to pronounce his name. Uh, he's just the dwarfy fellow uh, standing over in front of the uh, place over there. You want to talk to him? The, uh, uh, can I interest you in any of my alchemical wares? I okay. look back at Ethan. You want anything? I have some very basic healing potions, uh, some antidotes for poison. You can't find yourself in that kind of trouble. Uh, we've got ourselves a, a, oh, a nice fresh healer's kit, fully stocked if you need it. Mm, how much for the healer's kit and the anti-poison? Well, for this healer's kit, it's going to be a nice 12 gold piece. Of, and for the antidote, I'm We'll call it another even ten. I, I turn to Ethan. You want a healing potion? I could buy one for you. Now those, uh, those are quite I, a bit more expensive. Uh, Fifty gold. I think I, I already have some healing potions. Mm, yeah, I have one also, so I don't need. All right, uh, twenty-two gold for the healer kit and the uh, antitoxin. Twenty-two total for both. Yeah. All right. Go ahead and mark the gold off your sheet. Yeah, I am also adding the antitoxin. I'll hold everything uh, since I'll most likely be the front line also. Uh, 500 and 505. Then we have a kit and antitoxin. Antitoxin. And 
safe. Okay, done. Alright. Alright. Thank then, you kindly right. for your business. Thank you. We'll head to this man now. Then we'll I'll fly over towards where he pointed, which is this guy, right? Yeah. Yeah, I'll fly over. Uh, while well, the shenanigans are still going on, I'm trying my best to ignore what's going on. <laughs> Hello. Uh, you hit spacebar. Space uh, you oh, can you yeah. can raise control spacebar for speaking and shift spacebar for thinking. Hello. Are you Griff Springwell? Yeah, Sprogwallow. Thank you. Oh, sorry, Sprogwallow. Uh, yes, that is me. Uh, we were sent. I was sent here with a few others. I don't know where some of them are right now, but you seem to have some earth problems. Okay. Uh, yes. Well, not me specifically. I travel all around the region of Krasek, or looking for little things. Uh, Notice they were having some problems here. I see. So you wish for us to talk to the townspeople to find out the problems? If you can talk to me, if they have more specific information, I just know uh, about where it's. I see, I see. I can lead you there if you like, whenever you're ready to go. Uh, apparently, there's some. Caves or abandoned mines way up north. Uh, they used to work them in this town, and apparently something has been disturbed there, making tremors all throughout this area. Something in a cave causing tremors. Understood. Uh, we might want to talk to the townspeople, see whether we can get any clues as to what we might be facing. Certainly. Uh, the gentleman you were just talking to, uh, well, he used to own the mine, so he'll probably have the most information about that area. Alright, thanks. You're Thank welcome. Okay, so I'm gonna head back. I think this is about the time I will see them running back to us. Yeah, Kim would be running over about now. I will ignore Sandwich them. In hand. I will <laughs> ignore them and and face to run. Hello, uh, I was told that you were the owner of the mines into the north. Indeed, I was. Uh, there seems to be some problems in the mines that some people are talking about. Do you have any clue as to what might be happening over there? Uh, well, the specific tremors. Definitely. We employ the most safe mining uh, practices available, you know, give or take some more or less explosive options. However, we did have some golems that uh, did quite a bit of the heavy lifting for us, but, but they were just workers. I have no idea what could be causing the tremors to reach this far out. Do you mind if we went to the cave and check things out, make sure everything's alright? Well, I assume that's what Scrish is going to be paying you for, so I absolutely don't mind. I mean, the mines are stripped clean, I've moved on from that business, the uh, alchemy is a lot more profitable. I see, I see. So I, I turn back to Ethel, ignoring the other two still. So it seems that the mine will be the place to investigate. We might want to talk to the other townsfolk to see if they have any other leads, though. It could be a red herring. Uh, let's see. Okay. Uh, those so, of you that are uh, actually standing on the ground, every like 20 or so seconds, uh, you feel like just kind of very brief reverbs coming at you like through your feet and just kind of resonating in your chest. Yeah. I'm flying as well. Right. So you, like, you don't feel anything. So, so, uh, so just like standing, it like, it, it like moves up your body, or is it just like, is it like an earthquake, or is it just like something more special? No, uh, it, it feels like an earthquake. Uh, make an arcana or nature check if you want. That's so where, to determine more. We're experiencing what the town always experiences. 
Basically, yes. So I assume it's like a very light earthquake. Yeah, it's, it's very it's minor. <laughs> Some of it feels very briefly more intense. Alright. So. Nothing natural would be like this consistent or persistent. Unless it was like an earth shattering experience. And then you. There'd probably be a bunch of towns having the same thing. Can I like distinguish that this is like a monster or this is like magic or something? Uh, not from uh, this perspective. Okay. Alright, uh. So, I'll be like hanging back here. I look at this person, who is this person? Like, from my perception right here. Uh, the old lady? Mm hmm. Uh, she's just a very, very, uh, old looking woman. She's running a, uh, stall full of, uh, fresh produce. Okay. Uh, I'll look up. And so with my sandwich, I'll say, uh, I need, uh, fresh tomatoes. Oh, tomatoes! Oh, those just came in season, of course! The, uh, one more. Uh, uh, about how many would you like? Uh, one. Just one? Okay, mm. dearie. Uh, hmm. Let's see, this one, this one is perfect for uh, two copper pieces, please. One copper. Are you yeah. serious? <laughs> These are very fresh. The best in the region you will be paying no less than two copper. I see better tomato tomatoes over here. Can I do an expected check to see if I see better to tomatoes from this like thing? One yeah. second getting off from off. Uh make a perception check. Alright. <laughs> she does seem to have picked out one of the better looking ones. Uh Can I uh persuade her by uh trying to get one copper instead of two? How do you persuade her? Uh I'll say that I see better stuff for one and other stands that my uh take my pocket simply sucks. Uh, uh, you do notice that she is the only produce one in the area. <sighs> you know, all right, fine. I'll give her the two copper. I'll, I'll give it to her, but I, I, I look uh, very upset. Oh, thank you so much, dear. She will hand you her uh, very fresh-looking. You have obtained one tomato. <laughs> Hog. Here we go. So, uh, I'm gonna like cut in the middle of it and just put it on my sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> put like a thick chunk of like the middle of the tomato just on my sandwich. Then I have like two other of the halves. And uh, I'll just throw them on the ground. Near I'll, no, I'll come up to him and be like, you gonna share with me? <laughs> Sure, I'll give him the two other halves of the tomato. Oh. So, 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 look, wait, let me get this right. So you took the tomato. Yeah. You just kind of cut it in half, pulled yeah. all the guts on your sandwich, and then threw out the rest? Yeah. No, I'm, I'm going to eat the rest. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty good. So, uh, I'll, I'll walk over. Let's see, see these guys. Uh, do we have any update on the mission? I'm just going to go to the next store and do my normal investigation of asking. Uh, uh, basically, the two questions is uh, where do you think the tremors are coming from and what do you know about the mines to the north? Uh, I'll ask the random NPCs and also most likely uh, the grocer also. Alright. Go ahead and just make me a um, general investigation check for the town square. Investigation. Oh, okay. Six. Okay. Uh, nothing new really comes up. 
Okay, so they all seem kind of just like I don't know. So uh, after so after yeah, <laughs> after going through all the circle, I'll meet up in the middle with most likely Athene. Then I'll look at her, trying to ignore the other two still, and say, "So most uh-huh. likely." <laughs> most likely, uh, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, most uh, you you guys can hear me. It's just that I'm still trying to so called ignore you. Uh. So yeah, well, while you're while you're looking around, I'm gonna try to get out of the kind of like crowd and just take a more neutral, like, just kind of spot. observing. Yeah. So I'll face I'll face at the angle like yeah. Most likely, the mine is the only lead that we have, so it's most likely the only place that we can really investigate. What are we waiting for? Let's go! I, 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 I sigh and then ask Gravel, what did you guys do? What, what do you mean? I, I heard... Some tomato gl- dripping off my chin. <laughs> <laughs> I heard glass breaking, doors breaking. Uh, this must have been one of those earthquakes. Deception. <laughs> <laughs> That's... Yeah, you have to make a sense for Jedi. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, God. Oof. Uh, <laughs> we are not convinced. We can tell. This is obviously... He still has, like, splinters in his knuckle. <laughs> <laughs> Who did you mess up? Show me to him. I... I... Okay, follow me. Dude... <laughs> I just, I day. just wanted to say hi and introduce myself to the village, and I, I, I just, I, I don't know my own strength. <laughs> I, I, I try to fix the door. I see, and I go back and try to like grab the splinters and start putting it back up. Okay, <laughs> okay, okay. Calm down. I, I look at the man. Roll for not making it worse. It's <laughs> 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 like fumbling with the door. It falls apart even more. Yep. Yeah. No, just, just make a dexterity check with prof- uh we'll add a plus two to it for proficiency with Smith's school. Uh what check? Uh dexterity, just general oh, that's dexterity. Did you say we added you're adding something else? Proficiency? Yeah, we're adding well, just plus two but Oh, because I have I have a two in dex. Don't actively make it worse, but it doesn't look much better. Um... Uh, How much? I'm in the doorway, like, so I, I'm like, in the middle of the doorway, right? Like, one leg's in the house, one leg's outside the house, I'm trying to fix it from, like, the edges back. And then, if one of them get my, like, if one of them calls out to me, or if somebody calls out to me, Gravel. I'm going to stand up, I forget my height, and hit the frame. Gravel! <laughs> <laughs> I'm calling out to you! Gravel! I stand up real quick and I accidentally hit the top of the frame. <laughs> just, <laughs> just to the side, all please. I did, all I took was a sandwich. You guys are taking his entire house. <laughs> just to the side, please. Oh, sorry, sorry. I didn't kick you. I don't face home, but I bring. I, I did my head and bring my hand up to cover my face. <laughs> I take up. I take up five gold. And pass it to the average looking dude for the repairs. Sorry. He still just has his uh, hand held out with a piece of kelp cloth. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I just put the five go and then close his palm for oh, whatever yeah, repairs. Happy you're here. <laughs> just five go. <laughs> this man has suffered enough. Like, holy shit. I want to see. What is this stuff? Where are we? Right here. Uh, yeah. Just like basic spices, nothing too fancy. Okay. Uh, what can I see from this doll? That one is basic metal with a couple daggers. Okay, I'll go back to the spices. Okay. Do I see like salt or like pep- like some like any um something spicy, like salt or something? Salt is spicy. I'm not saying it's, I'm not saying it's like I mean like uh if you were to throw it on someone like in their eyes it would burn. Um, they they do have pepper available, hmm. or rather raw peppercorns. Is there anything ground like ground it up? Uh, no, it's all fresh. 
Uh, I'll just reach my hand in and uh, grab some peppercorns. All right, the NPC merchant, because I didn't <laughs> wanted to go spice shop. <laughs> spice we'll lifting. <laughs> Alright, I'll, I'll make a slight of hand check. So. Oh my slight god. <laughs> Alright, let's see it. Okay, let's see. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I we haven't even looked at the legit. Ah! I wonder if anybody will roll like above a 10 on anything that isn't. <laughs> is it knocking on doors? <laughs> that isn't actively doing so stuff. So you kind of try and stealthily dip your hand in and pull it, pocket it before you walk away, but the merchant kind of holds out his arm in front of you. Ah, ah, ah. That's too gold, that buddy. Damn. Uh, how strong does this dude look? Oh my god. He's <laughs> <laughs> pretty, uh, pretty spindly. Can I there is, Do not... There is an entire rest of the market there, though. Uh, uh, screw it. Alright, whatever. I'm gonna, <laughs> sort of, I'm gonna, like, do that thing where I can chop his hand, and, like, right there, like, on his, like, uh, chop his hand, and then so he, like, curls it up. That's what I'm gonna do. And I'm gonna do it with all my might. <laughs> so that's, uh, I'm gonna, that is strength check. <laughs> So you're gonna chop his hand and like run out? Uh, yeah. No, I'll just chop his hand and then I'll see what happens from there. Let's see. Oh, is that? Uh, right? roll a strength-based attack roll. So something like this. Six oh. characters and one personality trait is a right. miracle. Right. I think we need to go. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I I do not know this man. <laughs> Alright, so you're trying to like find pressure points and you just kind of totally just hit bone with your fingertips and it kind of oh my God. hurts a bit. Alright, um. And I was um, wrong with you, buddy. Two go, come on. <laughs> Either that or you can drop a pep. Um. I throw the grains of. I, I grab the grains of peppers that I like try to put in the pocket and uh. I throw it at him and run away. I love this one. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> he just kind of splutters at it and gives, uh, oh, what the hell is wrong with this guy? <laughs> We're in the game, by the way. Oh, no. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, I, I was not part of this. I'm actually going to talk to the alchemist because... <laughs> I, I want to ask him about something. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna ask him if he happens. Wait, did I grab like all the peppercorns or did I only like grab some? Because there's like still some left in my pocket. I want to grind that out. Fair. <laughs> no, you threw, you threw them up. Now let let Aura ask her question. Okay. I'm gonna ask him if he has as an alchemist if he has any like a uh, alchemist fire or like oil or. Explosives, the sort. Yeah, I can make one up. Uh, they're kind of an on-demand thing. Haven't had many uh, much need for it. Uh, uh, were you looking to buy one? Yes, it may prove needed in clearing the mine. Mm, I don't know if those rock creatures are necessarily aggressive now. Uh, well, yeah, I can, I can mix one up for you, uh, let me think, uh, cost them it. Uh, we'll call it a cool 40 gold. 40 gold? Uh, okay, I give him the 40 gold. For a plan. Alright, he'll start, uh, concocting one very carefully. And it, you can see every time, like, a tremor kind of courses from he will stop and focus very hard on keeping the glass steady. And then continue mixing. 
about ten minutes later, he will uh, hand you a stopper vial of alchemist. Yay. Thank you. I'm good for your business. Uh, anything else y'all want? No, I think that will be it. I'll have my hands like behind my back, like not trying to break anything else as I follow. Yeah. You... Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> okay, I look at the two. Okay. Okay, I I I thought I thought I say okay. So the two of you are here. Where's the was, last guy? Was, was good, is he in another window? Is he trying to find another guy? Okay. What is this building that is in front of right now? Oh my I'll god. <laughs> <laughs> that is a nicely populated tavern. Oh, there is a tavern. Uh, okay. Let's see. Hmm. Are they, like, actually making, like, the, the drinks themselves? Like, is there smoke here, or is it just, like, like, food? They're not, like, brewing anything here. They have, uh, casks and stuff they're pouring from. But they are serving food as well. You ate a sandwich already. Huh. Hmm, alright. Not today. Maybe not. Maybe another day. Uh, I'll just go and meet up with the group. Uh, <laughs> so the hero's about to come drag you. <laughs> and so I was right. telling you the information about the cave and like, oh, oh, you're wow, back! You all actually came. I was hoping I wouldn't have to, like. I, I'm, like, finishing up my sandwich with that, you know. I see the sandwich. I look at Gravel. I roll my eyes. We're going north. <laughs> all right. Say, I walk off the bridge. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Go ahead and uh, select your token. And then in the chat, click that underlined part, and you will be magically teleported. <laughs> oh, no, the cave. You're right. We're not going to encounter a bunch of Zubats, are we? Yeah. Definitely not. Uh, Unfortunate. Though, as you guys travel northward, there, uh, the tremors are getting noticeably stronger, and they're lasting of like couple of half seconds uh, you're actively kind of seeing like trees swaying a bit from uh, and then you come upon uh, there's like uh, scattered uh, bits of tools and stuff outside of them and a very open maybe 10 to 15 foot opening in the mountainside what kind of tools? Uh, like, uh, broken pickaxes, a couple okay. of shovel. Nothing in good condition or nice. Oh, no. see that anything from. would have been, like, taken. No, is this, like, an abandoned shaft, or is it, like, are there still people coming in, in and out of here? Uh, this is abandoned. Uh, the dude, the... Yeah, he mentioned that yeah. the place was mined out. Yeah, the obvious mm -hmm. that it was mined out. Uh, the, the cave is dark, right? Uh, yes, yeah. so you only have like residual sunlight coming in from the back. I There's plates around the wall. Yeah, I don't know that I'm fine. I have dark vision. You guys just think I'm a human, but nope. Definitely a human. So, <laughs> I, I, no. I see the no, darkness. You don't know that, because I haven't told you guys anything. You just, I look like a human, so probably a human, but. Yeah, so uh, uh, as we go, as we enter the cave, right, I, I turn to them, okay, the cave is dark. Do you guys need a torch or something? Uh, yeah. I honestly forget. I don't think I have dark vision. As I Goliath. don't think Goliaths do. Uh, Nor do barbarians, so th that's a no. Oh, barbarians, Dad! Goliath, uh, I think their thing is strength. Yeah, mountain boar on our bloods. Uh, yeah, and then Mr. Human Thief Man also does not. So. Um, I, I have my, like, two handed axe in my hand. So it's like, I really fight, but I have no hands to hold torch. No hands. Uh, I hope George. Goliath holds up great axe. Actually, no, I'll have to take my torch. Yeah, I'll just have, uh. I'll have the fairy hold the torch. I'm gonna. I have dark vision, my friend! Yeah, me and him just gotta walk off, leaving you two in the dark. 
I don't know. I don't know how strong all of you are. Uh, I should immediately. I should. Wait, 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 wait. Can I like uh, like trick him into like actually just holding the torch for us? Because I don't feel like doing it. <laughs> That's between you two. Trick me into holding the torch? No, the fairy. Oh. <laughs> it's okay, okay, okay. How are you gonna persuade uh, me to hold a torch? Okay. Um, let's see. Alright, listen, I have previous mining experience, so I know where uh, different uh, gaps could be, where we could possibly find that the person doing this, all these tremors. It could possibly be coming from a wizard, or it could be, you know, maybe, uh, I'll just, I'll like jokingly say, like, a larger dog. Uh, large dog! <laughs> <laughs> I'll, say, I'll say, uh, you should hold the torch so, uh, big old muscle brains over there doesn't walk into any walls. I uh, flex and glitter shows up like Alex Armstrong. <laughs> God. Yeah. For some reason, with the way I it. How does me holding the torch help you guys? Uh, because you have the mobility. Because they don't want to hold it. Can I use my rope? I have rope? Yes. Can I use some of my rope to wrap it around my great axe? <laughs> Wait, would the rope catch on fire? No. <laughs> well, here's the thing about two handed stuff you can carry your axe in one hand, but when you go to swing, you have to have both hands. Yeah, then you drop your right. torch and it will still light up the floor area. Alright, that's yeah. it. No, you can't swing it with one hand, you just swing it at disadvantage. I don't think that's how it Yeah, but, yeah, but then, then you can just drop the torch anyway and swing it with two hands as well. You, no, you, I think you swing it at disadvantage without your um, mod on it. Yeah. I'll just drop the torch. And yeah, you drop the torch and then just two hand it. Uh, it's a lot better that way. I saw it. Either the way. Just have the go out of the toy. to end up with two free instances of 120 foot dark vision. Do we see this? One second. I backed you guys up a bit. Okay, there. Because Aura, and then shortly after Estelle, would see this thing. Mm. Ah. Uh, standing there, and then slowly moving along the path. How tall is it? Uh, it's almost twelve feet. Oh, so it's taller than me. It is big. Okay, so I stop and them. Can... I stop them, and then uh, I whisper, "Giant." Wait, Estelle. Estelle, what range is your dark vision? Uh, if hers, I... hers is sixty. Yeah. Okay, so I can see it, but she can't. Yeah. I, 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 I whisper to them, not only to hush, but also that there appears to be some sort of rock creature across the bridge in front of us. Which is, I can also Would you like me to go investigate? You can't even see it right now. Yeah, if I get close enough, it should see it, right? This plan sounds like it's only going to go for me. What if we throw a torch in its direction? It's made of rock. I don't think it's going to do much. But we can see, see it, it, though. Yeah, we'll, we'll see it. Uh, well, okay. Then we won't be able to see around us. It doesn't matter. Because we can see the enemy, that's fine. You want to run in darkness? Uh, I got another torch. Okay, okay. Uh, what if we just have you like, walk over the bridge? Do, do I see this? Do I see this? Uh, with your, uh, torch out, you can take the staircase and, like, We can always go down the staircase. High point. Uh, no. No? Yeah. I'm gonna say we should make this time to walk on the lair. I can do that. I'll go to the front of the bridge. Alright. Wait, wait, wait. Ah. Uh, wait. Oh, God, he shouted already. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm gonna stay back so when they inevitably get themselves killed by this, I might include it. Okay. Alright. So, Grab Hall shouts. Hey, Shorty! Here we go. 
stands there for a couple of seconds. It looks like it's holding its arms out, waiting. And then it turns back around. Uh, Coward. I, I think it's... Go 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 it. Maybe uh, I, 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 I run not up fight it. Wait, I, I want to run up and I want to yell at it. You're, like, running up to its face? I'm not all about it. Just to look at it. This is, like, where I can see one by the torchlight. And I'm just going to scream. To see if it, like, I can get its attention or something. You die, I'm not saving you. <laughs> <laughs> Do you say any words in particular, or you just, like, scream? Uh... I yell, hey. <laughs> hey. Hey! <laughs> Alright. Your hey echoes. And a tremor hits, and, like, dust scatters from the sea. But the oh, rock creature so does not react. We can just can walk... Hi, you can just walk by it? I, I'll, I'll walk real close to it. Oh my god. <laughs> like, within arm's reach. <laughs> and just not, not threatening though. Just like, um, like, like, looking at his height and being jealous. Alright. Approaching this creature, you can like, feel its footsteps. And definitely hear them. They are very heavy. And it's very slow moving. So, that's yeah, what a halfling feels like. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Can, I, can you feel its footsteps from across the bridge? Uh, no. Okay. Yeah, okay. As, like, as Gravhall, like, gets up in, in its. Uh, this happened. Uh oh. Oh, God. Oh, that's easy. Okay. <laughs> Groundhog becomes part of the earth and it digs his feet into the ground. So you walk up, you barely even lose your footing before you just like stamp your and So you're uh, right up next to it. It's still turned around, just kind of keep going. Do it like, uh... Oh, it's Tremors is what, like, trying to knock me down? Yeah, it, that's just, it's doing its footsteps. Uh, damn. I thought it was, like, attacking or something. No. We can just walk by him. Yeah, I, I, I said we just walk right by it. Uh. Alright, I guess. I'll stay at the back just in case someone falls to the Tremor, I'll help them out quickly. Can I, can I like jump over the fence and like walk, like, on the edge of the and just walk back? <laughs> that's hey, can I do that? Way. I would laugh if you fall. It is a 20 foot drop from there. Oh my god. But is there enough like footing to like put my foot there? You, you can definitely try and hop the fence. Uh, you also can't see right now because your torch what? You know what? I'm gonna, okay, I'm gonna like crawl. Like, hand up the on top of the fence. And then, like. Matt, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm, I'm just flying um, above him, just trying to make sure he doesn't get himself into stupid things. Okay, so, and then I'll come along here. Okay. You're so just going the long way around. Yeah. Okay. Um, Aura, down here, you see another one. Oh. Oh, there's a thing. There it is. Okay, so now I know to not go down there. Well, this one is actively just digging what looks like rocks out of the ground. Walking over here. Dumping them in a pile. And going back and forth. Same thing. Do we know if just... If, is over here just, like, wall... You wouldn't know. Okay. Uh, or I can see that it's just a wall. Yep, it's... I can see that it's just a wall. I would, I would uh, say what happened. Yeah, I'm just gonna follow him. I'll be like 10 feet behind him. I go forward and I realize... Like, Aura? I'm just gonna spirit... I'm oh. just gonna... Once I get close to this, I'm just gonna like, you know... Shimmy around? Yeah, shimmy around, putting myself I, as the... Uh, 
I see them being cautious. I'm like, it's fine. He's friendly. <laughs> All right. So <laughs> what's what's a hit? So I'm gonna tell. Them, wait, no, I'm not. I'm gonna stop them. No, wait. I'm gonna say they appear to be benign, just going about is most likely what they were doing before what do you mean by that? the mine shut down. Uh, I'll say, like, what do you mean by that? What are you talking about? There's another one down in, uh... Whatever you call this. Down below, I was just repetitively moving rocks. Seems is it, like, like they the same height and everything? But is it, like, an exact copy? What did you see? It appears to be similar. Similar. Oh well, I'm gonna keep moving. We might have to find a shutdown mechanism. Come on, guys. <laughs> All right. Hey, what will save the slaves? <laughs> yes, the rock slaves. <laughs> the mindless, unintelligent rock slaves. All right. <laughs> Venturing deeper in, uh, you find yourself at a uh, fork. Or not okay. a fork. A multi-split path. Left, right, or straight ahead? So we find a path left, right, or straight ahead? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Straight ahead. Mm -hmm. Always left. Ham on the wall, always left. Right? Uh, I'm gonna... I'm gonna, like, ask them if they feel wet from one of these, like, pathways. Like, if we put the torch in front of it, will we feel like wind or something? Like a breeze? Mm hmm. You'll hold that's the torch up. Yeah. That's only going to matter if there's an exit. Yeah. yeah. We, we don't want to live exit. an exit. Yeah, so we know not to go that way. And we can split it down between like one of the two. Fair enough. Yeah, so we mark, yeah. We mark an X and where, uh, and where, we, come, where we came from. Uh, I'll put an X and a small symbol sail away from where we came from. And then an arrow that pointed towards where we came from. Alright. So, just uh, type in the chat which one you're uh, voting to go left, right, straight ahead. Alright. Left is the majority. I, okay, let's go left. Easy to get lost keeping left hand on wall. And by lost, I mean not lost. Oh, we found the fun room. Oh, oh no. Oh no. When the DM says fun room, the rocks fall, it's everybody good. dies. It's, it's, it's never good. I, I've DM'd before. I, that's. Very fun. Oh, look at all these valuable minerals that we can mine, though. You, and there's a pickaxe. Can't, you can't see them. Yeah. Hey, guys, I bet there's valuable mines and minerals and <laughs> tools to harvest said minerals in this room. All right. So, traveling along the left path, it curves I'll always every stay night. in front. Uh, you eventually find yourself at a uh, quote-unquote death. Uh, this appears to be a most, mostly excavated area from Aura's initial, or and Estelle's initial impressions of this area. Uh, you may move about the room as you would. Until I say go. I'll go this way. All walls? All here? Mm. Mm -hmm. Can I see anything in this water? Is it like pitch black? Can I take Do this guy's skeleton? Yeah. Alright, hold on one sec. So, we got... So, grab all on a cell, go up this... Uh, you do see the skeleton. It looks long, long. At least a, a couple of years. Um, so, you need anything with the skeleton? Mm, I'll use my divine sense to see if this is a consecrated or desecrated. That's unfortunate. 
Uh, I him. No, it's not consecrated, desecrated. It's not undead or any of those magic things. I come over and step on its skull. You know, just because it's not desecrated doesn't mean you should desecrate it. <laughs> it's fine. Okay. So as I'm like looking at this water, is um, do do I just like see him like just freely walking in the pitch black? Like, Unguided, or do I like, or is he like holding the wall or looking around? Uh, no, because you can't see them. Okay. <laughs> uh, but uh, looking in the water, you also don't see much. You can dip your hand in if you want. Ah, sturdy. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, get your own torch. <laughs> All right, uh, Aura walking over this way, right about there. You would see this guy. Oh god, I wonder if I should drink the water. <laughs> he's, uh. No. No, you shouldn't. Scraping out a section of wall, right? Similar to what it looks like right here. Just, like, dumping that behind it. I see there's another one of the, uh, golems. I tell them that there's another one of the golems over there, uh. Scraping rocks off the wall and making a pile behind him. Mm. Me. I say we should go back. I say we should yeah. check. Nah, we should. We should explore the rest of this. Yeah, we have uh, to make sure that the mechanism is not in this area. Throughout this room, there is a very localized uh, clap of almost thunder coming from oh, the corner of the room. We gotta find that. Right. No, I, I. I get excited and I kind of jog looking for the sound. I. I. Uh, I try to resist that we should go back. No. I'm, I'm in it. I will return, but I'm not gonna fall. I'm gonna stay a little bit behind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. It, let's go ahead. I'll be at the side and then I'll peek from the side. Just to see everything's okay. Alright. I guess I'll just... Torchman rounding the corner and is still peeking. Uh, you see two more of them actively like sliding back and then attempting to... Is there something blocking their path? Uh, no. But you can't see anything past them. They are very large. They're just kind of walking up. And it looks like they're uh, swinging their arm. I'm going to try to move to the side. Do I see anything here? Uh, nothing that isn't there already. Okay, then I will fly over and I'll see whether I can see what they are trying to do here. Okay. Uh, make a perception check. Perception. Okay. You make out a uh, small dwarven form just kind of cowering there. Uh, it's actively dodging their very slow uh, fists. But it oh, these things are attacking somebody? Yes, they are attacking one of these. Oh, that's the wrong thing. Uh, there we go. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Oh shit, this is on Twitch. We're gonna get banned by Disney. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> uh, but you see them actively, like, swinging at this. Okay, is he dodging, or is he like crying out, like help, help or anything? He's Question. dodging. He's dodging. He looks scared. How heavy are these things? <laughs> How heavy are what? The walkers. The walkers. You have to try to lift one. So. Hmm. can push a thousand and one thousand twenty pounds. I fly over to the I fly over to Kim and tell him just they are attacking a dwarf. Then I fly over to SNS to tell say that yeah, they are attacking a dwarf. Am I able to come around here? No. Uh, I, wait, I ask him if he's defenseless. Can I go around here and like grab him? And, he like, seems defenseless, he's trying to dodge the attacks. Okay. 
Alright, as you do that, that, we're gonna roll an issue. Oh! Oh, God! Okay, uh, where's the initiative? I got you. Hold on one sec. Alright, you guys are added in. Go ahead, um, click your token. It's in campaign. Uh, combat's the green one. Man, that's a shitty initiative, guys. I think I do have a lot of mushrooms added in. 13, 13, 8, 6. God damn, we suck. <laughs> yeah. Uh, if you want the initiative window open, it's in window initiative so you can see people's. He's gonna smack or attempt to smack that dwarf. Oh no! That'll hit him. Oh, did that work? Yes. Yeah. Alright, that'll be their turn. Kim, it's your turn. Uh, okay. Can I like. So these guys are like, what, 12 feet tall? Yeah. And just tell you have about like 20 feet of flying height. No, I'm at 5, I'm at 5. I'll always be at 5. Okay. Hold on, where are you a skull? How much do these guys weigh? You haven't tried to lift one. Okay, can I like roll like perception to see if like if I can like get a guesstimate? Uh. Do intelligence. Okay. Uh. <laughs> Dude, they're like a billion pounds. <laughs> <laughs> you could narrow it that. Oh, yeah, bro. God. Okay. Alright. Uh, I am going to run to the sky. Behind them, and uh, do I see like a possible weak point of sorts at all? I mean, like, they're they're big, but uh, all of their connections seem very uh, flimsy. Okay, I'm gonna see if I can. how much range do I have with my uh. My sword sword. I mean, right uh, on rapier and short sword are both uh, five foot, so you'd have to be right. All right, so I'm just gonna take the thing anyway. All right, whatever. All right, I'm going to hit him with. Uh, so I'm stealth, so I will get advantage, right? Because this guy can't like see me or anything because he's like wailing on the floor. Uh, no, you have, you have advantage because gravel is already next to him. Also no. Uh, they have the fun ability known as Tremor Sense. Oh god. Because they're rocks. So they, 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 if they... How close am I? Can I, can I do my stealth versus their Tremor? Uh, yeah, so you could... You're level 2, right? Yeah. So you can bonus action hide, so do a stealth check for me. Alright, uh... They pretty much just have nerf blind sight. That's a skill check, right? Yeah. Alright. Yeah, you get you get an advantage automatically since Gravel is already next to him. I'm oh, not sure if I'm within range. We but... don't we don't use flanking rolls. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Not sure. Yeah. But yeah, uh, you do get sneak attack if someone else is within just five feet. Uh, okay. Oh, no advantage, yeah, correct. No advantage, it's just a sneak attack. But now you have advantage because that was a pretty good stealth check, so go ahead. 
Uh, here. Uh, go to window. Uh, selected. Selected. Click on your token. Mm -hmm. There should be one called Rapier that I made for you. Yep. Go and so. click on that. What fun. Alright. So that's, uh, that's a hit, and uh, that's eight damage, okay. Nine damage because of sneak attack. Alright, that's your action, your bonus action. You got about, uh, where were you? You got about 15 feet of movement left if you want to take a hit. I'm going to try to this guy, finish this guy off. So I'm going to go for my short sword. On the side oh, did you want to do double short sword? Yeah. Okay. Well, you already used your bonus action to hide anyway. Oh. Okay. So do I have another action or am I stuck? No. You used your attack action to rape your bonus action to hide. Okay. Wait, I didn't get an advantage on that self check. Why would you have? Because I used the action to hide, right? Oh, wait, yeah, just uh, click right here again to see if you get a crit or something. Okay. Nope. We'll use the better damage for that. Exactly, same yeah. damage also. Yeah. Okay. Oh, uh, then I have my turn. Alright, Aura. Yes. Um, as I'm currently not within range, I'm just gonna, like, move up to there. Okay. And my turn. Not doing anything? No, I'm, I'm just gonna look at what's happening first. Okay. Alright, the damaged rock man um, seems significantly more scared of the dwarf, so he's gonna try and hit. The rock thing looks scared. Quote unquote. It seems to be <laughs> prioritizing the dwarf. In which case, I mean, if this dwarf is he can just kill him. Uh, that's gonna be it. Still. I fly over to Effin and I tell her they seem to be attacking a dwarf over there. Uh, I'll, uh, what do you plan to do? We're gonna have to take them out. Alright then. I don't, I don't really see any other option. Okay. Alright, so you're with, with the others trying to take them out, huh? Okay. Yeah. Okay, since there's a consensus, uh, Eldritch Blast this Awakened Worker. Since I don't have my weapon out yet, I still can use my free hand to attack. Alright, 20 feet. Okay. It's just that A4 damage. No. Alright. Warlocks are great. Yeah, I don't know. That's my turn. These things are weak as fuck. Alright, grab hole. Uh, let's see. Um, are, are these, like, on a ledge or anything? Or can I, like, am I freely able to, like, get in front of this dwarf? Uh, you can try and, like, uh, switch yourselves around with him. Like, do a push him behind you kind of thing if you want. That's what I want. I want to go into a rage and do that, and then swing at this, at this one. Uh, he's not willing, so you would have to use your action to, like, shove him behind you. Mm. Like, like, in bonus action rage to get advantage on that, uh, athletics check. And then I wouldn't be able to attack so right? Like, if I do that, I can't attack, right? Nope. Mm. Let's see. Can I come up here and just attack this one? Sure. I'll do that. And still go in a rage. 
All right, so you rage first. Go ahead and make your attack. Do you get reckless at... No, you're level one. Yeah, I'm just level one. So I just roll my d20 plus five. Yep. Okay. Why do we have to these, man? What are you using? Great axe? The great axe. Alright, go and roll I two call for me. And then I only add to the modifier once, right? Yeah. So, yeah. so we're just adding plus three and then plus two for rage damage? Alright. So you gotta do those slash archers. There we go. 2d12 plus three plus two. Okay. Big boy damage. Oh man, I've been so happy if I one shot <laughs> the gra the story of Gravel begins. <laughs> right, I, I right, saw this right. fucking Goliath just one shot this like twelve foot uh, rock monster. Well, he did also destroy a door you were trying to knock. Hey, it was an accident. <laughs> we don't talk about the embarrassing stories. Guys, yeah, this is this is the uh, the greatest showdown. We have Gravel versus Gravel on Gravel. Oh <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Anything else? I want to stream for some gravel on gravel on gravel action. Um, I don't think I can do anything else, right? Um, uh, nope. Unless you wanted to move more in. Because I can't, I can't attempt to, like, push him down or anything. No, it'd be a okay. grapple. Right, right. Oh, I'm going to grapple. Oh, I'm going to, oh, that's going to happen. Alright, let's see if you get this thing done. Oh my god, he does. Alright. I'm gonna it. I'm it. He cares more about these dudes, so... Oh, that's unfortunate. Uh -oh. So, Gravel, you uh -oh. see the dwarf kind of uh, trying his best to deflect blows, but he's just getting smacked by rocks. And then you see his eyes uh, suddenly glow bright blue for a second, and it doesn't even look like he's himself anymore. He floats maybe a foot off the ground and just screams. Oh, Wait. Is he a wraith? No. No. Okay. Alright, so, Kim, I need you to make a constitution saving. Okay. Nice. Oh, I think. So you pass, so you take uh, three damage. They also both have, but they're also both at three HP, so that's cool. We did it. Uh, okay. Uh, are we out of combat now? Maybe. So these <laughs> rock creatures, like from the top down, just get like. Blasted across the floor. Oh my god. Wait, what? Do they have like a core? Uh, you can look later. Okay. To find one. And then the dwarf will turn to you, Gravel. And just oh. kind of. He's holding a, a piece of one of the. Uh, um. Which we'll call it? One of the golems. He looks like he's ready to swing at you. I grab my great axe and I'm like, Are you sure you want to do this? Okay, I'm gonna walk over and uh turn to turn to a dwarf and yell at him that he could have hit me. And I'm upset. I'm very upset. <laughs> uh I'm gonna ask him what's wrong with him. <laughs> Does he respond or is he just like he, he is um, very scared right now, and he uh, turns to you as you talk, and he's like holding the piece of rock like a knife at you. 
I'm gonna try. Right, I'm gonna. We'll, we'll calm down. Let's, let's. Uh, we saved you. You know us. All right. Um. <laughs> okay. No, I'm not. Gonna, all right. Yeah, I'm just gonna try and calm, calm down. See if that works. Okay. Make a proficient. Mm, proficient. Persuasion. 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 Oh, uh, oh my god. Nope. His hand was kind of like shaking as he was holding the rocket tube, but then he just like takes a deep breath, reaffirms himself, and just holds it steadily. Anything else you wanted to do? Um, I'm gonna ask him uh, where is his like group? Like, are you by yourself or? I think he's he too panicked. Don't answer. He just kind of shakes his head and still holding the rocket. Uh, do you have friends? Where are your friends? Still not. Alright, you know what? I exhausted all my resources. I'm gonna draw my sword at him. Okay. Is that like an intimidation check? Uh, no. Your action for the turn, because we're still technically in combat, would have been trying to pursue. Okay. But you, you can just draw your sword at him and hold it out at the ready. Alright, I'll do that. Aura, you have seen two rock creatures really uh, blow off your head as they uh, get scattered past you. Oh. Yeah, I'm. I'm. Uh, I'm just gonna go over here. <laughs> this one, by the way, seems absolutely chill and just keeps. Nice. You can. You can deal with the uh, projectile to chunks of rocks. Projectile. Alright, so you're dipping. Okay. The stealth. Alright, uh, okay. Uh, I have 50 fly speed, so I'm going to fly up to the dwarf. I'm going to lay on hands, uh, one hit, uh, two HP actually. And try to convince him. Okay, okay, it's okay, it's okay. Shh, shh, everything's done. Everything, calm down, calm down. I don't heal him yet. We don't his friendly. Now uh, the healing is to help help calm him down more. So that was my plan. Now, so there will be two lay on hands. And uh, persuasion check to calm him down, right? Uh, yeah, go for it. Uh, skill check. Persuasion. His immediate reaction to your touch is to swing around to you, but you've already got like a hand on and the healing kind of courses up his arm. So he seems a little calmer. He's so wary of you all. He's kind of shifting his eyes in between all of you, but he seems calmer. Wait, how much HP does this guy have left? You don't know. Uh... Okay. He just got yelled a bit, didn't he? Yeah, how much did you know? Yeah, 2 HP, 2 HP. Okay. Just uh, 2? Yeah, just 2. Yeah. I didn't use all of it. Uh, I was... Okay. okay. Can I... Uh, you know, it's your turn. Yeah, moving on. Gravel! I, uh... I mean, it's a dwarf, right? Yeah. So I want to, like, step as hard as I can, like, one foot towards him, and use, like, intimidate him. But you don't want to fight us. <laughs> no, We're here to protect you. I find that we're <laughs> doing this the wrong, uh, two opposite ways. <laughs> Alright. Uh, go and roll intimidation. Okay. 
He's receiving conflicting information or, from many sides. I, in five, in five <laughs> minutes, I still wait. Question: Because I'm still in a rage. Do I have like I still like in five e the barbarians have a little bit more of a brain during their rage, right? Yeah. Okay. I was not sure if like I felt if I felt threatened, do I just live rage attack? He doesn't seem any more threatening. You did see him completely obliterate two of the in one go by shouting at them. I did all the work on Okay. Yeah, same, me too. <laughs> but he he's just very standoffish. Can I... Well, I did my action to intimidate, because I was going to yeah. say to me, just grab mm-hmm. okay. okay. Uh, and I believe your rage would fade. It lasts a minute. It, but you have to attack or be attacked. Oh, I believe... Right. I'm not sure exactly what it is, yeah. but... As your, as your turn ends and you have an attack for hostile creatures since your last turn to get damage since then it ends. Yep. So that's the move. Okay. Alright. He doesn't uh, scream again. But he he is just standing there and it, he will uh, attempt to back away from you guys. Do any of you attack him? No, yep. I don't. Where does he go? Wait, does he leave our thing? Yeah, he, he's backing away from you. Guys. So we get, like, opportunity. Yeah, right? you, you can use your reaction to... If, can I grapple him as an opportunity? Sure. Uh, go ahead and make an athletics check. <laughs> okay. My no rage. My rage is gone. Yeah. He kind of just slips out. Either of you attacking? Nope. Kim? Kim is thinking whether he wants to <laughs> stab this guy. Oh god! You hear the soul of Gravel say, Do it. <laughs> soul is snake power. Hello? You're muted, by the way. Kim? Father Kappa? Father Kappa? Oh. oh no, he has died. Now we have to wait for him to resurrect in order to kill this. <laughs> or in order to kill this. Just like how black. <laughs> Where is he typing? Like it says it in the top left for me in map pool. Hmm, could be I a. Don't see that. Yeah, I don't see that either. Could be a connection uh, thing. Uh, weird. I don't know. Well, I can't find no. Oh, this is random. Just out of nowhere, just this is at a time where we have to decide whether we want to kill this guy or not. Wait, oh wait. <laughs> there he is. Alright, so. Can I tell it like a um, attack of opportunity? Are you going so to, you take like to take that? Yeah, I'm going to take it. Okay. Oh, oh god! Do um, it. Rapier or short sword? Rapier. Okay, uh, that'll miss. Oh my god. But he does make note of you trying to stab at him. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What do I want to do? Man, if only I was still in rage over that. Okay. Uh, no, we've never really would have. I think he's gonna take the rock that he's taken uh, from the uh, pile of rocks of these guys and throw it at you. At who? At Kin. Oh, he, he, he stabbed him. So that will super miss. It just kind of like falls at your... He picks up another one and keeps going. 
so far. How far is it? Uh, uh, I'm gonna yell to a cell and tell him to go get him. Good news is I'm within range. <laughs> so, so she's gonna just kill this dwarf? Yeah. I'm, I'm trying to capture it. It is your turn, kid, so. Oh, okay. Uh, so I hit this. Uh. Well, that's you, just. You, you can run up and attack him, I think. Yeah. Yeah, I can run up. Alright, I'm gonna run up. Okay. And. Where's my short sword? Uh, I did not make one. Just roll. Uh, it should be the same thing, but different damage. So go and. I think short sword is also. It's, yeah, no, it's a d6. Did you? Oh, yeah. Because you can do it. Yeah. You're all. Ted would miss though. Anything else you wanted to do? Oh, it missed? Yeah. Uh. Uh. No, I can't go. No, I can't do anything. Well, if he leaves my range again, I can promote attack of opportunity. Yep. Alright, yep, I'll end my turn. Alright, Aura. I will kill this thing. Uh, I'm gonna move to like here. Okay. And then um, I'm gonna use uh. Let me just choose. I'm gonna. Use charm person on it. Neat. <laughs> uh, roll for EC fourteen wisdom. Okay, and I will have advantage because gnome. You guys are trying to. Yeah, trying to kill them. <laughs> oh, at least someone is. Yeah. All right, he still fails. Okay, um, uh, so it's, it's not my friend, I guess, um, now what do I do with him? I don't know. What do you do with a person that's magically compelled to be friends with you? <laughs> um, I'm, I'm gonna ask him what he's doing in this cave, and why those golems were attacking him. He kind of motions to his throat, uh, like uh, running it up and going, but he, he's not making any sound out of it. Oh, he can't speak. Mm. Uh, I think he's lying. Mate. Can you guys not real fast? Would you like to roll inside? Uh, can I? Where is it? Combat oh. is technically over since he's not aggressive to you for another hour. Alright. It's sunny. Nothing that would indicate he would be lying about, uh, based on your previous interaction with him, where he still wasn't talking. He probably can't talk. Mm. The the scream that uh, was powerful enough to knock over two rock might hurt your throat. Oh, is it a recovery period? 
Maybe. Hmm. We are not in combat anymore, right? Nope. You should okay. be. Alright. I fly up, I'll grab my quarter staff, and then I'll write, I'll write on the bottom showing that, demonstrating that he can write uh, on the ground, uh, the dirt on the ground. Then I ask, are you okay? Then I pass him the quarter staff. Okay. I'm gonna look for a court when I come. Uh, roll investigation. Roll investigation. He very uh, hastily and shakily writes uh, no. Uh, among the pile of rock, you don't find uh, a core necessarily. The construction of these looks like it was a uh, very hasty cheap it looks like somebody just found a bunch of rocks and attempted to animate them without any formal core magical thing I'm waste some of then I ask him that with the color stuff still on the head what's wrong with you I ask him He starts to write something out, uh, his eyes glow very blue, and he very quickly turns uh, this way, and will once again scream out, uh, knocking up a bunch of loose rocks, scattering them all across the wall, a couple of pebbles will like ricochet past your head. Yeah, this mm-hmm. guy's a right. yeah. We should find out if he's related to anybody in the village. No. And if he's not, we should kill him. Yeah, just kill him just right, right here. Come on, guys. We don't just kill him. We, Right? He's a threat. Yeah, he's a threat. Uh, you're he's a threat at, are you asking if we can kill him or if we should kill him? Oh, I'm not asking. Two very different questions. No, we're not asking. If he's uh, related to somebody in the village, I don't think we should. If he's not, I think we put him out of his misery. Because he's obviously possessed and or cursed and or should be <laughs> dead and not have to worry about his ailments anymore. Okay, uh, I'm gonna cast Divine Sense to see whether he is has some contamination within him or not. Uh, uh some behind him. Do I get a self check? Over the. He's very much aware that you're standing there, uh, Estelle. <laughs> yeah. The only thing that comes up on your uh, Divine Sense is an undead standing right here. Yo. <laughs> the second if you if you if you say something, I swing my axe at it. Uh, I, I look at. Am I technically on? Am I technically undead? Uh, you, oh. detect, you detect as undead. But everything else you, you works on you fine. Don't worry about it. I, I look at Athene, I roll my eyes. I roll my eyes, thinking, ah, oh, fine. That's that's the deal again later. And then I tell the I tell the rest. He's. He doesn't seem to be possessed by an undead celestial or anything. Mm, we need to find a way to uh, the make, make an arcana check. This stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Nothing in your religious, divine, warlock training. Uh, is really coming to mind. It, it, you, your best bet would be some kind of ghost, but obviously that's ruled out by the divine sense. That's right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right, then we'll bring him to the vi- Okay, fine. We'll bring him to the village and see what the villagers want to do to him. Okay. No. Why don't we ask if he's like from the village? Are you from the village to the south? He'll shake his head no. Yeah, we're killing him. Uh, guys, seriously, he could have been like from another town, from uh, the caverns or something nearby. He's not speaking. He just tried to attack us. Not yeah. on purpose. He's also not not reacting to you guys talking about killing him, but uh, he, he he's not he's running not away. Fully conscious because they did charm him. So. Yeah. Uh. He's not gonna really react till he stabbed him. I mean, 
I tie him up? Yeah, sure. Let's tie him up, buddy. You want to tie him up? Yeah. Yep. So, how many drum breaks he can't run away? How much rope you got? 50 feet. Oh, you joking? I, I'll keep an eye out for when his eyes glow, then if he does right, I'll ready an action to point his face towards somewhere that no one is around. Uh. Cause Cause guy, like, one, of it, one of his hands around Cause I, he needs to be able to chat somehow. Okay. I guess we can just ask him yes or no questions. Well, here's the fun thing about Trump person. It breaks if anything harmful happens to him. It's and not harmful. Tying him up is more uh, or less harmful. Hey, some people are into that. Yeah, yeah that's what I'm about to say. Yeah. Unfortunately, this dwarf does not have a BDSM <laughs> going on, so... Roll initiative. Well, no, we can use the same initiative, but uh, roll an athletics check, Grout. Yeah, roll my coins on these rolls. Alright. So you successfully grab onto him. He is not going anywhere, but he is uh, actively fighting you again. I shrug it off. I don't care. He can't do anything. So we'll just start at the top. Mm. So, Ken! <coughs> Alright, so since he's a uh, grant and everything, I'll have an advantage, right? Uh, no. Uh, but he's restrained. He is not restrained, he is grappled. Okay. Uh. Hmm. Yeah, I'm getting tired of this guy. He's pretty much tried to attack me two times. Uh, he's gonna die. To be fair, okay. he looked away from all of us on the second time. He still did it. And then, uh... <laughs> yeah. That's damage. Uh, 13. Alright. Yes, bad cop, good cop. <laughs> We have bad cop, good cop, and a cop that's just trying to get the procedures done. And then cop at the back who is just like, what the hell is going on? Alright. Or I'm sitting there coolly watching this happen. Yeah. You feel your charm person fade as uh, this guy bear hugs the dwarf. <laughs> I may have sent you a message on Discord, Ari. Yeah, it's a nice guy. <laughs> What you doing, Aura? Let's see. Um, is there room for me to, like, move in and stab him? Oh, uh, over here. You can do it oh over my here. God. You can just move in over here and stab. You got plenty of room. Oh, you can do it here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, casually walk up, pull out a, like, shiv and just stab it at all. Oh, it's not a shiv. I. I I pull out, like, just some fine-looking daggers, just two of them, and just plunge them into his neck. Right. So, um... You don't have yes. macros. That's unfortunate. Uh, let's see. Roll a... Is it, is it just 20 plus 3? Is it just, is it just like, 1? So, no. it's like... It should be a 20 plus 1, right? It's just... Let's see, because I, I, I have two attacks, right? So it's just... It, yeah, um, you're dual wielding, you have two attacks. God damn it, does it... No, no, you have, to, you have to separate them, you have to separate them. You have to yeah. d20, d20. 1d20 plus 1. Yeah, so it's just... Are sorcerers not proficient with daggers? I assume so. Well, then they like simple they weapons or something? Oh, I see what you're saying, plus 3 foot. Yeah. Like, I don't oh, know. yeah, it, it is the plus 1, so it's still a 5, but... Well, and, um, well, no, not really. Okay. No, except really little mechanics. 
Yeah, so you use super And then 17, which I think hits. Uh, yes, that will hit him. Go and roll 1d4 plus... Yeah, it's, it's plus 3. You were right. Because they are proficient with tigers. Uh, based on your dex. It's yep. your dex plus your proficiency. Oh. Um, and you're proficient okay. with the weapon. I still didn't hit. No, you did. 16. He has oh, the, first. the 7. Yeah. So, 4 damage. Four. Okay. He dies. Murder. I, uh, so you stab Go ahead. You stab it, like, right underneath his uh, shin, and you can see the dagger poking through the bottom. Through his mouth. Ooh. Yeah, pull it out. He's nice. He's gone. Since I'm holding him, I'll loot him. I just oh. sigh <laughs> and just turn away and like. This, yes, still this away. man is too wholesome for this. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm holding him by the arms, and then he goes with. I just like shrug and and just like start reaching his pockets. Okay. Uh. While he's doing that, what's this? I like can investigate to see who this is. Sure. Uh, Alright, looting him. He doesn't have uh, much on him. He has some basic uh, worn down leathers uh, to use his armor. Uh, he has uh, some very shiny uh, looking rock that he appears to have found. I don't know percent it. Anything else? No, that's about it. He doesn't seem to have any thing worldly. Okay. I wonder I'm if these rocks will attract these things. Uh, go ahead and make a nature check. Oh, okay. For these. I say we give it to Kim and have him walk towards one of them. See what happens. <laughs> sure. Alright, oh, eight. <laughs> uh, it is not naturally occurring in these kind of caves. It seems to be a uh, concentrated form of magic. No. Uh, I like. Uh, I like. It. If like if I hit it or like, chip a piece off, will like anything happen or is it just like will it explode or something? It might. It, it's uh, solid pieces of magic, so anything could happen. Uh, all right, I'm gonna run over to Estelle and uh, tell her that uh, if I hit that, why did I? Oh, be brave. Find out yourself. <laughs> uh, you, uh, you ask what? If I hit, if I this wrong, it like, like it will just like spontaneously explode or something. I just fly away. Oh, no, I see you go about. I see you right, go about. We go in court, right? I'm gonna smash. I, I see you go a good distance <laughs> this way, and you find out. All right, so you're smashing the rock. Yep. To be well, I'm not just gonna like random this man. I, I do like one piece of them. It's like All right. so you kind of carefully chisel away at it as, as a piece breaks off, the whole thing shatters, and a sound similar to what screamed out of this guy comes out. Oh, no, <laughs> <laughs> it's it's all guys back into the rock. Are we going to get to see it? Are we going to see, get to see it death or another death? If there was anybody oh. deserving to die this mission, <laughs> <laughs> I did nothing wrong. I saw you did it. So you, you managed to keep your footing, but you still take uh, just to steal the sandwich. <laughs> yeah, you you still take a uh, three damage. Oh, as this like screen this. kind of rocks your core. Alright. Uh, Are you seriously gonna wrestle that thing? <laughs> oh my god. Alright, you walk.
walk up to this guy, dude still minding his own business, just digging away. But I pull up the pebbles and kind of like, wait, show them off to him. <laughs> oh, the stuff you found yeah, on the... the shiny pebbles. No, he doesn't seem to react. Okay. Uh, while they're doing that, I'm going to touch the ground. Are the tremors still happening? Uh, yes they are. Uh, they are weaker here than when you entered the cave, so you think you got further away from the source. Ah, uh, okay. You might want to save wrestling it until we actually find the source of the problem. Don't go for it. I want to see him do this. I got this fast. Or what do you think? Oh, you were super muted while you were talking. Yeah, I didn't mean to. I, I have so many keybinds, and it's not the <laughs> thing. All right, you think I should wrestle it? Yep. After the mission, please. I mean, hey, two people said I share it. Majority. I'm stare at you. I'm not no, well, so he's abstaining. So he's abstaining. And there's not at all. And there's no majority votes. I'll just move on. Out of it. Wow. Do it. All right. Uh, next one. I think we'll go back to where I marked the symbol of silhouette, and then we take the middle path or the right path. Okay, middle path. All right, going to the middle path. Also, I am not spending any. I am not spending any lay on hands on Kim, man. Like, holy shit, this guy. What are you talking about? Dude, I need to right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Trying to this guy this. down and no, I'm just gonna stab him for 13 damage. Can I slap Kim on the back like that was good work he did without realizing my strength? Oh my god. He's fine, Like at least Gravel was just no. trying to restrain him. That one I, uh, Estelle understands but Kim and... I feel who I just detected was undead and just stabbed him like. Okay, you should go look down one of these holes and then I'll slap you on the back. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell him that. He's not supposed to know until then. Alright. So, entering this room. This water uh, looks delicious. <laughs> oh, oh. So, descriptions first. <laughs> What you see, uh, well, what you feel, the down the middle path, the tremor's getting stronger and stronger and stronger. And as you uh, enter this room, like, it's actively shaking. You can see dust, like, constantly falling from the ceiling. Uh, you hear screaming, similar to the one from the dwarf previous, uh, coming from underneath, out of these holes. And then you see these two uh, uh, golem just kind of walking in circles trying to I don't know figure out something to do because they are very uh, just I want to go up to one and like gesture to this rock mm. like as like mine it like gesture mine it like I'll, I'll tap it on the shoulder and be like rock mine <laughs> it's 12 feet tall yeah, and I'm seven ten. Yeah. You have to like raise your hand out on it. Taps it on the shoulder. Uh, it does. It doesn't seem. It seems confused. It's still just like the the tremors are constant now. Uh, can I look down one of these holes and see like, how far it goes? Sure. So you look down, and it's pitch black. Put the torch over the torch. it. You drop the torch. <coughs> Uh, I have nine left. Yeah. Uh, I over. Uh, I can take the torch and fly down. Just let me. Uh, yeah, it's it's y twenty feet down. Yeah, I take the uh, torch, fly down. Then yeah. Surface. I look around. Is there uh, anything? Nothing, right? It's just a deep hole. Die. 
I said it's twenty feet down. Yeah, nothing nothing else in there, right? It's just an empty hole. Uh as far as you saw. Okay, right. I fly back up, there's nothing in there. Nothing, zit, nada. I pass, I pass back the torch to him. You already checked all the holes. Yeah, except all the screaming that's going on. It's coming out of all of them, it seems. Should we... Can we... Can I... Can like, all of us fit down these holes? Yeah. Should we tie some... And go down these holes, or should we find a different way down? Do you think you can... Uh, oh, never mind, never mind, never mind. I just realized how stupid the plan is. Go on. <laughs> I was thinking of just burying this hole, filling them up, but I don't think that will stop it. <laughs> nah, I think we gotta go kill somebody. Uh, it doesn't have to be killing, you know! Hey, I, Are these it, walls? It's, it's uncontrollable. We gotta do what we got. Uh, yes, they are walls. This? Okay, so it is a wall here. Okay. Is there, is, does this water look natural or is it something else? Uh, going over to it, it seems like it was put here, but it's very stagnant, like it was put here a long time ago. Mm. Do not drink the water. I drink it not. <laughs> you guys want to check the right side first before we plan? Mm. Uh... I want to check the crystal, the, like the same crystal from before, or is it like different? Uh, it looks different. Make another can, nature check. Can I pull a hand axe and chuck it at the rock, the crystal of Kim? Oh my god, stop. Let's have his nature check first. Oh. Another 10. Also, didn't the alchemist say this mine was like completely mined out? If we're finding crystal all over the place? Yep. That's. I'm gonna, I'm well, gonna light was magically, one was magically occurring, exploding crystals, you know. Uh, I'm, I'm, gonna say the, I'm gonna say to the group, whatever this crystal, these crystals are in all of the runes, even if they're not the same, they must have formed since the mine stopped operating. Either that or the <laughs> alchemists didn't want these things. No, that's crazy dog. Uh, uh okay. Kim, these yeah. also don't seem naturally occurring, but you can't get any much more out of with your previous experience with non naturally occurring crystals, however. You imagine it might not be good. I uh throw my hand axe at it. Alright, roll an attack. Wait, hold this my cap wait before you does that once. No. Wait. <laughs> oh you no, you can always say <laughs> while you're next to it. Just don't <laughs> miss and hit the uh, rock golem. I'm fine if you hit Kim, I just don't want to fight another one. It's a, it's a machine. <laughs> Alright. So. Uh, roll for what he hits. From the darkness, it shatters into it, and instead of just a screaming sound, it uh, produces like a mist. Oh. No, 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 try, no, you try and like wave it away, block your mouth. Uh, no, no, I'm immediately running when you're talking about. Nope. Nope. But you, nope. you catch a uh, small whiff of it. Please, don't wait. <laughs> no, stop. <laughs> oh, God. Heal for three hit points. Heal? Oh. <laughs> oh. This is what I'm talking about. Is this a heal? Yeah. Yeah, heal. Can I go over to one of the, this, this rock crystal and like, break a chunk of it off? You don't know what happened. Fuck. You don't know what I go back. Kid, what happened? <laughs> As I pick up my, my hand axe. <laughs> it's busy, I'm gonna heal it. Did, did you try to kill me? <laughs> I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't make a roll. I can't see in the dark, remember? Don't throw the axes in the middle of the dark. <laughs> what, what happened? You, I, you, you nearly hit me with that. Oh, I'm sorry. Did anything else happen? <laughs> Besides me almost dying. Oh. Well. Alright. Can we investigate the last path? Uh, Estelle is like totally just fed up with these yeah, people sure, already. That's <laughs> yeah, <for sure. laughs> it! Are you coming with us? <laughs> <laughs> this is 
this group? Hey. Oh my god! <laughs> right, Pop! We'd probably kill you ourselves if we could find a way to do it easily enough. Alright. Um, we, I mean, we could push him down this hole. Like, I could easily just grab him and drive him down this hole. Hey, kid, do you what have any kid. rope on you? <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna look at him, my party, do a big old smile and ask, what's wrong, friends? Well, <laughs> we went through a town, I hear I'm glass breaking, out. some people- Kara is the one that killed the guy. <laughs> I'm also pissed at Aura, okay? <laughs> Alright. So, traveling down the right-hand path, uh, it's only a short while before you meet with a cave and it has a smattering of the uh, blue and white crystals uh, growing at, like, the base of the cave hmm. Well, we found ourselves. Do we want to the, try to clear it, can, or does it... The tremors are weaker here than it was from the other uh, room. And I mean, I assume since you're not giving us like, a link, there's nothing relevant in that room. Nope, just a little mm -hmm. area full of uh, guessing game crystal. Um, what do you mean guessing game crystals? Well, if you found there's this part, chance. if you found this part first, you break both of them and all of them. Oh, like in here? Yeah. Or like in the other? Oh, oh the red is. Yeah. Whoa. Me. Uh, uh. So yeah, I say we. I guess we go back to the middle room, and I grab Kim, tie a bunch of rope on him, and throw him down a hole. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't, don't. I'm my strength versus his strength. My strength versus his. Might be able to climb back out. Yeah, I'll just use my decks to do that real quick. Okay, seriously, what's the plan, though? Uh, we can go back to town and discuss oh this. God. Dude, no, like, alright. I don't want to kill Kim, because I'd be sad if I got killed in that shot. But he does have a strength of 10, and I really want to throw him down. <laughs> <laughs> what's the... You don't know what you roll, right? I've been rolling natural 20s. Remember that time I knocked on the door? Alright, <laughs> <laughs> okay. no, that's a tad stamp, sorry. Alright, let's... I'll, I'll be brave. I'll, I'll tie a rope. I'll tie a rope to this. Okay. And I'll give it, like, a good tug and make sure that's not gonna, like, break. Seems secure enough. And I'll rebuild down this hole. Alright. Uh, I'll take my sword short. You I'll take my sword short. Oh and uh, I'll wave it in the air. And uh, I'm about to catch their attention. I'm really tempted. I'm, really tempted. I'm really tempted to cut that rope. <laughs> also, yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> These two are trying to kill each other. <laughs> I. I I could have easily done something, and here I am. You got a bunch of party member murder over there. Moving on with the fucking campaign. No, Alright, I'm just saying, I had that overwhelming urge to do it and see what happens. Uh, you still I mean, have your I got uh, wrong. torch on you, right? Yeah, of course. Okay. The middle one gets you here. Okay. One moment, please. Does anybody follow down like immediately? After no, no, no. I'm looking. I'm training? looking like past the darkness from the top. Okay. All right. So rappelling down about twenty feet ish. Go and click that. Only him, of course. We don't know. So. Yeah. All right. 
Oh shit. I brain took over and I clicked the buttons. You're fine. So you touch down in uh, some uh, some caves deeper in and uh, immediately to the south of you you see one of these guys. I go up to it. I saw it, it's clear. Okay, then I fly down to follow once I hear the all clear. Uh, it doesn't seem to react to you, it's uh, looking in this direction, and um, a couple of seconds of being down here and your ears are blasted with an echo of uh, similar Whoa. thunderous might. Oh, well fine. So I guess we're all climbing down there, so I... Uh, dude, I flew down. You have to jump down 20 feet, you know. Oh. There's rope now. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, fine. That's obviously, it. came after all acrobatics climb down. Yeah, <laughs> obviously. So <laughs> um. God. I mean, no one else wants to kill these things yet. Uh, can I walk past it, or is it like blocking uh, it stuff? It, it is like fully blocking there. Uh, uh, I, I attempt to push it over. Okay, roll, roll. Oh god. Athletics. Well, because I can, I can push a thousand twenty pounds. Just to be reminded. I'm, I'm just uh, gonna walk around it. Uh, oh no. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> I'm gonna walk into the wall. <laughs> That's like that League of Legends shit. Alright, so you, with all your might, you're just kind of, and it's, like, firmly planted, you're, like, grinding against it, and you're almost slipping, falling. Do I get any idea of how much it weighs from trying to attempt to push it? Uh, maybe 1,500. Damn, okay. Uh, Estelle and Aura see one of these dudes over here, looking in this direction, and that's that way. Okay, I so we go over here. All right. When you walk to there, stop moving! You. <laughs> I do uh, um, out of character, whatever. Like as much as I can to lead the party, I would like to, just since I'm the tankiest and I don't want my. Dude, uh, I'm the tankiest. Are you? Fifteen HP. Or, uh, I have twenty-five. Oh, yeah, 25 is... Oh, okay. All right, balance. Bad lands. Bad lands. I, I have 25 HP with 15 HP. Yeah. I have 18, though. Uh, Aura, you see these three all facing each other. Okay. And they look like they're waiting for something that... <laughs> oh, wait. Oh. oh, we have to finish them all off. Oh, we Time could. For some murder. That's, I'm not gonna actually say that in character. Yeah. I, I look at the doors and I say, "You guys are gonna kill them, aren't you?" Oh boy, here I go kill them again. <laughs> boy. All right. It's Estelle. Estelle. We gotta do what must be done. These dwarves are obviously not part of the village. They're obviously causing problems. So we'll just take Yes, it. we can kill more of these dwarves and more will prop out or we could find the source of the problem. Or we can kill them because it sounds like they are the source of the problem and we just commit genocide on these dwarves in this cave and then the problem solved. Yeah. Oh sure, casual <laughs> casual genocide, nothing wrong with that. <laughs> Alright. Not when it's causing problems to a village. As problems. you guys are just kinda talking within earshot of these dwarves. <laughs> Uh, they're gonna kind of turn to face you, and we're gonna roll initiative. Oh god! With uh, your 10 HP, 10 AC, sorcerer at the. Uh, this is this is when you. Oh, oh, sure when you roll. Um... oh but thank God, <laughs> you rolled a god like on our initiative. Thank you, Aaron Jesus. 
Uh, make sure you have your token selected when you hit initiative, and it should I did. automatically add. Wait, can I do that? Uh, I do that. I'm sorry. Well, I don't see it Wait, at all. Yeah, so select your token, hit uh, initiative. It's the green one under combat. Uh, I don't know why some people don't get added automatically. Alright. One moment, please. Alright. So for full clarity, because you will see these as you run in like a barbier. There's two more. Nice. I don't care about those. Those guys are friendly. They're cool dudes. <laughs> All right. I'm not okay. sure how long you'll be saying that. Oh, they're cool, dude. So, like, I feel bad that we have to kill the other two. So, gravel. Your turn. They all kind of turn to face you. I, s I smack uh, this one in the mouth. <laughs> how thoroughly should I annihilate them? Are you raging first or not? Yeah, I'll rage. Okay. Alright, go ahead and roll your damage. Gross. It was the top one, right? Uh, no. Okay, that's good. The, the, the middle one, because I think those rock dudes. I think the rock dudes are on our side, and it's going to start fighting this dwarf. Alright, so. Bonus action, action, anything else? That's all I can do. Okie doke. Oops. Aura! You see this dwarf number one? Uh, I'm gonna chaos bolt him. Alright. <laughs> right in the face. Go ahead and roll your... That's an uh, attack roll, right? Yeah, range attack roll. Okay. Should be plus six for you. Yep. I was just actually typing out. Nope. Less. Well, that's. Oof. That's a miss. Rip. Um. And this calls for tactical retreat. Alright. Um, uh, you can have fun with them. Mm. Okay. Alright. Worker. Uh, he still seems like he's just sitting there waiting for something to How many? Like, how are they sitting? Well, like, not the sitting. Table? They're just oh. standing. I yeah, say sitting really there because they are doing nothing. Okay. But they seem to be looking at the dwarves expectantly. With the rock things are? Or... Yeah, the golems are. Okay, so what are the dwarves doing? Are they just like chilling out? Well, on their turn, they're gonna uh, fucking hit back. <laughs> okay. Uh, alright then. Unfortunate. They are not careful about this, so they will hit other people. That's optimal. Okay. Constitution saving throw, please, Grapple. Alright. That is a failure. Oh no. Oof. So you take 14 thunder damage and you get shoved into the wall. Okay. Uh. That's a lot of damage. 
but that's it for him. Wait, someone made me flex seal. Coats <laughs> <laughs> self in flex seal and proceeds to engage in battle. This one's standard. Um, what kind of damage was that? Thunder. Mm, so so that's... No, you're slashing, bludgeoning, that kind of stuff. Yeah. Slash, right. bludgeoning, uh, yes. This uh, worker standing walks up, but doesn't attack you. It seems to be scavenging on the ground for things. It seems these screams from the doors cause things to open up. Hmm. Oh boy, another one. This guy is trying to shove through to here, but he can't quite get there, so he's just going to shove. Let's see. I assume he doesn't reach me, right? Oh? This one, I hate this one. Hold on. Let's see. Which one do you think is that? This one. It's unfortunately a 15 foot cube. So another one from you. Did I make my other guy do it? Dumb question, because the first one that attacked me was this guy, right? Yeah, I know. I forgot to do his con save, so he takes the 14. There's a... Another save, please. Alright, so you only take five. You aren't shoved further into the wall. Uh, I'm not hurting, guys. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, just a bit. Just a bit. Uh, okay. You say... Damage, you don't you take ten. I'm not sure we have any healing ability. Yeah, I said you had potion. I said I had nothing. Estelle had something or something. Yeah, I still have three Leon hands. And you bought a healer's kit, so. Okay, he doesn't recharge, so that's nice. But he's gonna walk up and try and hit you. And they'll hit you for three damage. Fuck. I regret everything. Listen, if this was your sorcerer, she would be dead. Yeah, I'm... Mm, the slow, the slow one. I thought this would be easy. <laughs> the one to die, I'm new. <laughs> well, the good thing about level one is that you don't have much to, uh... Lose. Lose. Yeah. I'm flying back, Olaf. I'm flying back, I'm I'm flying back up. Awesome. What the fuck? I'm Are flying back up. <laughs> I, 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 I've had enough of this guy just running in and just... Are you... What? Yeah, I'm, I'm flying back up. Okay. Uh, okay. What alignment are you? Uh, neutral, neutral good. And okay. since they were talking about genocide and all this, I I had enough really. We're basically. talking about genocide. We're <laughs> talking about murder. <laughs> That's pretty much why I give out when the uh, Estelle would give out on the party. Like she doesn't want to participate <laughs> in mass murder like that. So, all right. Well, my next character is gonna be Grawl's son. His name's gonna be Grawl Junior. <laughs> all right. This is good all, but hopefully this one lasts the session. Right. Oh my god! <laughs> I did not think my character would die. I hope he didn't die. You're fine. Fine. Estelle, make make it a, a check for me. Arcana. Uh, wait, can I like make it? Can I like um, uh, manipulate itself? You to, could like, try to catch her. 
Wait, she already left? So... Can I, like, manipulate her into, like, healing, uh, the grass? You, you, that's between you and her. Uh, and also, so I'm wait. Is she fully out of the cave? Out of yeah, the she, she's uh, starting to hit back. Uh, you can fly 50 feet, so she was here. So, 30 feet to the rope, and 20 feet up, she's out. Jesus <laughs> Christ. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm gonna, I need to make a note. <laughs> I'm, gonna say quiet, I'm gonna say quietly enough that she can't hear us, but both of they can. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say, when this is done, if we survive, I say we kill her. Yeah, I'm down. Alright. Uh, Alright, so. uh, Kim, your turn. Oh my god, what did I do? <laughs> uh, just distract him, just distract this one, just... Just distract this one so that I can. I don't have to. I don't have to distract it. I can one shot it. All right, one shot it. If, if I one shot it, you're, you're still like. No, organized. if you one shot this one, I can get like out of range. Like I can leave. Like I won't provoke an attack of opportunity. Wait. So then, after my turn, it'll be your turn. You can get out. Uh, maybe. I think. Wait. Yeah, you have to hide. I mean, I'm, I'm top of initiative. I think both all three doors have gone. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Kim, Kim yeah, okay. last, if you open the initiative, Kim is last, grab all next. Cool, kill this one, and then I'm safe, and then we'll all leave. We'll leave, take a short rest, fully recover, and come back. Is that before or after we kill this doll? Alright. Uh, <laughs> like, they would probably one-shot me, like, I need some help before I do anything. Okay, so, I can, wait, do these guys, can these guys see in the dark? Uh, dwarves? Yeah, they have dark vision. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna stealth up behind them. And, uh... Okay. Uh, roll stealth check for me. Okay. Uh... They, they have low passive perception, so yeah. I should be able to sneak attack without stealth as well, for it's Yeah. But it stealth gets advantage, so go and roll with advantage. Uh, how do I roll with advantage? So you just hit the, hit the button twice. Okay. Uh, uh. All right. Uh, yeah, he's super bad. Yes. Yeah, Ray. All right, my bonus section. I'm gonna go back. Bonus section, kill me. <laughs> I don't have anything on me. All right, hold on. Watch your movement there, bud. Yeah, right wait, there. no, you have bonus action dash. You're fine. Oh wait, yeah, yeah. No, I, I thought you bonus action high, lady. Oh yeah, never mind. So you were here. And there. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, so you can get to there. Okay. We're good. Alright. Uh, <laughs> Rattle. How far can I move, like, full action? Like, just all my action on the Uh, 60 right. feet. Does Barbarian get any at level no, 1? No. You can do more. 30 and okay, then so. for a moment. Or you can do 30 feet of movement and then dash as an action to move a full 60 feet. Yeah. So total of ninety or total no, of No, so total total sixty. Alright, bye guy. Alright, so <laughs> oh my God. here. Uh, okay. Let let let's do our corner rounding here, just so I can feel good. So here. So as you move hit space and it'll let you yeah, there you or go. Or right click. Mm-hmm. Alright, so forty five in your basically up the rope. You can see Estelle. Hovering at the top of the. I like grass. Do you heal me? Okay, okay, oh okay, okay. Hold on. Since he's out, also, I might, I might just heal him also. Oh my god! I can't believe this. All right, Aura. I'm gonna move pull it to like right here, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, and then towards these dwarves, I'm gonna take out the alchemist fire. Light nice. Oh, oh shit! Don't roll a one. <laughs> All right. Uh, Did you roll for throwing it? Uh, yeah, it's a dexterity. It's a dex, yeah. So just do it. Just do it. Dexterity check. Can he uh, pass it to me because I've got a dex? Can I go <laughs> before him? Uh, uh, they would all go before that happened. So. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Go for it. <laughs> No, so if you click on your character, do you have the campaign wi window open? Uh, I, I'm just gonna... Type it out? Okay, that's fine. 
Ooh. Okay, nice. Alright, what is something that's very good again? The question is, are there any crystals around? Doesn't look like it. Alright. What is it? Oh. What's your dex mod? 1? Yeah, 1. The D plus 1 is 18. Alright, who was that? This one? Yeah. Which general? Alright. Or between them. So he's. Oh. oh, you wanted to like on the ground? Just like right here, yeah, yeah, just like. Okay, as you like it, just try to maximize the damage to both. Okay. Oh. We're as close as I can get to both of them, reasonably. Okay. Here, we'll we'll leave that to Chan. So I'll give it a fifty-fifty to. Get them both. Higher is better. Unfortunate. So you catch the one. He takes three damage and is ignited. The the Try floor is start. still on the <laughs> the floor is still on fire here. Uh, but this guy seems to be dodging it as best he can. Time for a tactical retreat. <laughs> yep. Let's see. Yeah. I, 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 I yeah. imagine it's 10 and then 20. Yeah, right. Yeah. You move in a straight line, it's right. You can get to right there. I was there you. Oh, right there. Yeah, I was there and then. Oh. Alright. Workers, they are still like scavenging from where the blast zones were. Uh, Boom and Dwarf. Nothing. Oh, <laughs> walk through the fire. He does. That's, a, that's an excellent point. So he attempts his best to dodge it. What is it? Oh, it's only DC 10. That's unfortunate. He still catches on fire. Amazing. And he takes five damage. He's on fire, but he's a screaming pet. His dead buddy to try and catch a gun. A flaming dwarf is running at you. What do you do? <laughs> uh, can I? Can Latin I like, intimidate steady. him so he wants to like back off? Or is that... Maybe. Uh, who's next? This guy. He gets his back. Up, up, up. Can't oh my go God. To the same space. Let's see. Are you sure he's also still on fire? Wait, I get one shot. No, you didn't you heal for three? All oh, right. Yeah. He, three. he still has. He's still. If I roll yeah, like he, max he damage, roll. she can. Yeah, I'll die instantly. Oh, no, That's Tim. I'm so sorry. <laughs> he tried to kill me. I have not yet tried to kill you. Yet? <laughs> In character, I have not tried to kill you. <laughs> Alright, so he takes uh, that fire damage. Uh, Kim, go and make a concept. Let's see what you're saving again. Oh, okay. Okay, oh, so no. you're, you're still uh, up either way. If he, well, no, if he fails, isn't he dead? Yep. Not an HP. But he's not at full HP. Yep. He, it's 10 damage, he has 11 HP, he's fine. Oh, boy. Alright, so you take 5 thunder damage. Okay. Great. Oof, okay. I could give you some healing. Uh, and his dwarf buddy also fails. Okay. So he takes his. I'm really gaming too hard. What's, what's, what, 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 how much HP does your token have? Uh, I forgot how much HP I have. Because your character sheet says 9. Yeah, but this, I'm level 2. Yeah. Um, I forgot how to I, I updated his token and everything. He is 15, he is at okay, 16. Yeah. Okay. Uh, fun fact for all of you. <clears throat> Sorry. Uh, you can go to double click on your token. 
go to ownership and just select all the names. And you can see each other's HP then. Yeah, you go to uh, edit it and do them. Or just click all players and it does it. Yeah. Mm. My voice suddenly decided to stop working. Mm, God. Okay, just throw a sign at you. We have to kill the DM. Get him out. Shit, I've been found out. Anyway, we just, we just need to get out. Get All right, Stell. Okay, I'm flying down to Gravel and Are I'm. Are you actually not gonna help me? What? I'm going to yeah, grab out and chuck no and make him chuck a health potion that I have. It's a oh. potion of healing. Seems fine. You'll do well. Are you just gonna throw it? No, I'm giving uh, it to gravel. I'm giving it to gravel. <laughs> You're just All right. not gonna help me. So go ahead and roll two d four plus two. This spell. Just that, wow. or whoever wants to roll it. Okay, you heal for All eight, right. gravel. Then I'm going to fly back up. Then enter them. Let's get out of here and rethink our plan, please. I feel great. I feel fine. Fight, fight, fight. <laughs> <laughs> Gravel! Gravel, get out and rethink our plan. How much further do you fly out? Uh, it was 20 feet to go down. And then... Yeah, so you're like hovering right above the hole. Yeah, so it was uh, uh, fly down to gravel with 20 feet to reach five here. Feet. Nope, five, just five uh, feet. Just five feet. Uh. The then I'll just fly closer to the... Uh, I'll just fly up to the hovering above the... What, uh, at 10 feet above the hole. I have an idea. Once it comes to my turn. Alright, Kim. Uh, okay. I don't think I you can climb the rope, but you can get to the rope. Or, me and you can one-shot this guy, at least you that is. <laughs> the confidence of the dead man. Or I can climb the rope. Kim, you do what you want to do, man. You do what you want to do. Um, I have an idea. Whether it involves all of us coming to this rope, and hopefully the doors follow, and then we just cut the rope while they're on the rope. Hmm. Like, this guy's already low. You do it, man. Can you? Alright, so. Can, can you just, uh, like, watch out this one guy? Or is that. It's, it's your turn? I know. And then it's my turn. Here. And it's their turn. I free uh, one of you. If you can't kill him, you're probably dead. I so. Can, I can uh, shoot you and probably one shot him. But if if you don't want to run. I. If you don't want to run, your mm -hmm. options are you walk up to him. You hit him, you kill him, and you can bonus action dash away. Other option, you walk up to him, you miss him, and you don't want to take the attack of opportunity. You can mm -hmm. disengage, but you would still be in range for him to counterattack you. However, Aura would get to go first, and she can get up the rope, no problem, even if she uses an action. Uh, but you still do run the risk of them just coming up and blasting here. Uh, if, you, if you don't just fully get out. Okay, I'm trying to see. Uh, I don't know, the character in the badass, you can do it. <laughs> like, I can't, I can't, this is like hard because my, my two, like, my characters are the two most important things is himself and his confidence and his abilities. It's hard you to hear from, You hear from the caves. <laughs> Don't believe in me. Believe in the you that believes in yourself. <laughs> Alright, we're going in. Alright. Go ahead. Oh, he's so dead. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, go ahead and roll uh, your rapier. Can, can I get, like, can I get an advantage for like being. I have to prepare it. I have to hype myself up, you know? You hear from the, you hear from the little cavern that I'm in. <laughs> Kim, Kim. <laughs> sure. Alright, boys. It's like, you can do a double roll, right? You're gonna roll two ones back to back. Nah, nah, nah. Bop, bop. Alright, you're still hit. That's 12. Nope. No, you have advantage, so you have sneak attack. So that's 12. 
Get him out. Alright. Uh, so I now I can move 60 feet. Yeah, so your bonus action dashing? Yeet. <laughs> Get me out of here. You run your face straight into Gravel's ass as you are <laughs> climbing the rope. Well, I'm, 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 I'm like... So you, you're, you're, ba- right? you're, you're basically at the top, but you're still like in the way. But did Kim just start climbing it? Yeah. Well, but, 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 but he can... <laughs> he can haul <laughs> ass. <laughs> yeah. Alright. Gravel. Uh... Couple, no, I can't fall out. Alright. And I'll hold my action. Or whatever. Like, I'll prepare, you can prepare an action. Prepare an action. I, I, I mean, I can just hold for. Like, if a dwarf climbs up or something. Yeah, so you yeah, prepare action when the dwarf climbs with no one on the rope, you can cut it. Uh, that's preparing an action. Sure. Do, you do that. I mean, I'm used to just holding until, like. I want to do something now and then getting inserted. Uh, the way 5e stuff works, you have to hold your action for a specific thing. So okay, you're hold holding it an action. The door starts climbing the rope after everyone else is out. Okay. Aura. Yes. Um, the rope is kind of clogged right now. Yeah. How far up the rope so far is Ken? Uh, he would be 10 feet up. Because he okay. kind of got blocked Just up. Just push him out of the way. Yeah, so I'm, gonna gonna walk up, I'm gonna walk up to the rope, and while I'm waiting for them to go further up the rope, I'm, I'm gonna tie the rope to my belt so as I climb, the doors won't have anything to climb. Okay, uh, I got you. And then, and then I'm gonna start climbing. Okay. Alright. Alright, workers, scavenge, scavenge, scavenge. Dead, scavenge, scavenge. Oh, no recharges. Bup, 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 bup. <laughs> oh no. He's still on. So he takes five. How is this man not dead? I mean, he, he, he has not been in the blast zone yet, so. But he's walking up, he can't quite reach you, he's gonna full dash to just get underneath the rope where the hole it just kind of fruitlessly swings his club at you guys. Wait. Can No never mind. He, he has he has short legs, he can't make the full distance from here okay. to get a range of uh Yeah. Uh no Mr. twenty five. Seeing it, well, everyone here is a violent prick. I'm gonna side. With, I'm gonna side with the violent pricks that I'm with, and Eldritch blast the booming dwarf below. You're holding all of us. He's on top of all of us, right? He's just flying, right? I can I, I can fly down twenty five. Eldritch blast and fly back up twenty five. Yeah, but we're in the hole. He's super small. He can sweep oh, past okay. no problem. Yeah. Okay. Sixteen. All right. Some baby pixie with wings pops down, just like shoots a pea shooter at him, disappears away. <laughs> All right, Kim. Uh, all right. Let's see, boys. Oh, all right. I'm gonna like slowly fall down the rope and like bump into bump into you, and I'm just gonna fall to the ground, and I'm gonna like run up and uh, one shot this guy. <laughs> Kim style. The Kim style, man. <laughs> that, that rope is staying attached to me. Yeah, I'm gonna laugh when you miss this one since you don't have advantage. Yeah, go ahead and roll your attack. Oh, Bob. Wow. <laughs> wow. 
Hate banner. Is that enough? Nope. I heard it. Well, you gonna finish them off. No. Uh, what pot? Wait. Okay, that's not gonna miss. Okay. Get him out. Alright. Get him out. Dwarf dead. Alright, I tell him that it's safe to explore. No, I say we go. <laughs> I say we at, at least. Rest and come back. Yeah, I also want to. Actually, I want to go back to town and report this, see whether they know anything about the crystals. Nah, we don't know about this town. Not right away. <laughs> We just need to go outside the cave, take a long rest, and then come back in and finish our business. If you guys are going to take a long rest, I'll just go back to town and back. Uh, I won't take a long rest. Uh, I think that's fine. Yeah, because it's eight, long rest is 8 hours, so I might as well go to town report back and see uh, while you, you guys are resting. Rest, rest. Yeah. As you guys are just kind of discussing what to do, maybe about 30 seconds back, there's no more tremors. Wait. Also, how, is, how is he getting out of the hole? I pulled the rope up with me. Do you send it back down for him? Do you? Oh my god. If you don't, I'm gonna like, fling one of no, I'm, I'm not gonna do it. I'm just gonna untie it and leave it on the ground. Oh my god. Wait, what? Kim, so Kim shouts up. Hey, it's safe to explore. Sh Are you absolutely sure? I mean, you can check the blood on my hands, yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask him if he wants the rope. Uh... Yeah, sure. Okay, I'm gonna untie the rope from me, pull it off the rock it's attached to, and drop the whole rope down. Hey, that's my rope! <laughs> Alright. You now have a rope. And the three of us are on top, so... This yeah. guy no, went no, and killed the person I was healing. To be fair, Aura is the one who killed the person. Can I throw something twenty feet? Uh, what's your Either gravel. I don't know. I think like ten. Right now. I mean, twenty feet is a card. What would you like to throw? I wanna attach. Um. I wanna attach my short sword or my rapier. And throw it at them, like above, <laughs> and see if I can hit them. What? <laughs> like, if I attach the rope to it and then bring it back. Alright. Like, your rapier and your sword are throw weapons. <laughs> yeah. It'll, uh, it'll be weird. Um, let's. Because they have to be near the hole, right? So if I can, like, throw it up, and, like, that's the one, I can, like, tie a rope to it, I can, like, put, tie it back down and then try it again. Am I several feet away from the hole now as I untied the rope and throw no. it back in? No, you, you were looking down the hole to talk to me. Okay. Uh, let's see. Don't have a grappling hook, which I would recommend, but... Yeah, you can throw, uh... Which one do you want to throw? Uh... My rate, no. Okay. Go ahead and roll just, a uh, straight, straight, straight. Right. <laughs> it gets about gets about fifteen feet of hole before it kind of just nose dives back up down your way. You kind of have to dodge out of the way. Right. Look, we'll come back for you once we finish up what's going on up here. What are we doing, guys? <laughs> I mean, that was my rope, so I don't have any more rope. Oh. Hold it's on. fine, I have some rope. <laughs> <laughs> we can get him later. Um, uh, yeah, but I'm not, I can't force you to do something you don't want to do. Uh. <laughs> I'm shooting bye, 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 b
No, your Freeman cloak is gonna. I mean, there's caves to explore. Maybe there's a way out. I'm not trying to die. No. He also does he have a torch? No. Wait, do I? No. Let me check your burglar's pack because that's a thing that you have. You have five candles and a tinderbox. So you can light your candle. <laughs> like, uh. What'd you call it? Scrooge. Uh. What do I have in my thieves' tool? Uh, thieves' tool is just like lockpicks and stuff. Okay. Go um, back, don't die. Oh my god, okay. We'll be back! Uh, Just wait! Uh, How much would you think they would let you back up? Um. Hmm. Hmm. You also do I have, have uh, climbing pittens that you could hammer into the sides to help you climb easier if you want to try that route. Yeah, I'll try that. Okay. So it is about uh, seven feet to where the ceiling is, so it's just going to be a matter of jumping and uh, hammering them in. Go ahead and make... Oh, yeah. Well, before I do that, can I loot these guys? Oh, yeah. Loot? Sure. I think we're gonna head back to the uh, entrance of the cave. I hate all of you. <laughs> hey, if I have my rope, I throw it down. Uh, but you, you have my rope use, now. You only use twenty feet of rope. You still have more rope. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> you just. <laughs> all right. I use all my rope. <laughs> Let me. Okay. I don't cut it this second. So that's too much. Okay. Work. He has, he has all the good rope. Okay. God. So, um, you've come into quite a bit of money worth of work. Good job, Mr. Thief. Uh, looting these bodies, you find more similar uh, rocks or to what uh, Grathel found that he didn't tell you about, so you don't know they're similar. But they're similar. Hey, so what faction are you in? Huh? What faction are you in? Factionless. Uh, Nobody to I care like, about what you Yeah, I was, I was about to go to your faction and be like, he abandoned me. Uh, I gave you a health potion, okay? Um, you're abandoning me. Uh, well, <laughs> I, got these, I got these like, special rocks, right? Yeah, you got uh, some special looking rocks. You Wait, also fun. I'm gonna smash them. Nice. What, what, faction, what faction is a. Uh, Time in case we need to report to the death to this faction. Freeman, Freeman. Freeman. I know a few people there, so. He, he wears yeah. his Freeman cloak and the Freeman. 100% lose cloak. And the Freeman won't fucking care. They're pirates. <laughs> yeah, they don't care. Yeah, they seriously they just don't care. They're pirates and they'll be like, hey! <laughs> strong <laughs> Alright, um. Out of way, you, How do you crush the rocks? Are you just, like, in your hand? Um, I'm gonna, okay, uh, alright, I'm gonna try to be as gentle as possible with this, so I'm gonna use I my hands. I gently crush the rocks. Yeah, can I do it with my hands? Is it, like, soft enough to do that, or do I Uh, it like... just, like, crumple them in your hands, and it's, they're tough, hard stuff. Okay, um, alright, I'm gonna take it in the short sword, and so take the blood, and then just bash it. Alright, All right, you're sitting one on the ground, you're lining it up, and it just kind of, they bounce off of each other and it just kind of scatters across the floor. It's not broken. Oh my god. Alright. Are there like any rocks in here that I can just like pick up? Just like regular rocks, there's plenty. Yeah, I'll just like take a decent sized rock and just okay. smash the other one with it. Alright, it takes a bit of doing, but you smash a regular old rock. Wait, they're not special? 
Well, the ones you have in your hand are special, but if yeah, you want to like a... No, I wanted to match the ones in my hands that were special. Alright. Yeah, it's, it's still very hard to do. They're not crushing. They're very hard, tough, bouncing off of everything you're throwing at them. Alright, well, uh, these are diamonds. Smile. Uh, I'm gonna pocket them and try and sell them later. Okay. Uh, you just need to get out of the cave first. Yeah, yeah uh, he, my plan is once I report back, I'll buy some rope from the shop or something and yeah, get yeah, cheap out of there. help you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so is that all, everything from all these guys or is it just this guy? Uh, you find a uh, three, like, collection. Uh, bu -bu 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 Mm. No, they're they're just little cave dwarves. They don't cut. Alright then. Uh, I'll light a candle and start slowly moving this way. All right. Do I see anything? Uh, everything seems uh, uh, what you call it, fine, clear. Uh, you see, like, very basic formations of the crystals from above ground, but they don't seem at all formed much. Alright, is there anything around here? Uh, that is a bunch of loose gravel. And I'll stay away from that. Uh... Well, there's like coming from... Alright. So I'm gonna walk down here and hug this edge. Try and not mess with these guys. Okay. Should sure wrestle them. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna slowly turn this corner. Do I see anything around here? No, it's all clear. Wait, even so, this is just a wall. Yep. Uh. So this is, so I'll just slowly walk around this entire cavern and see if these are all walls or not. Alright. So, uh, yeah. all of the walls seem well dug out, and when you get to here, this seems like a path upwards. It kind of loops around, but it is going up. Right, I'm gonna slowly go up there. See yeah, and while, assume while he's doing this, we're just going back to the entrance of the cave. Yep. Yep. Alright. So, do I see anything around here? What? Alright, so looping back up. Where did you go? Right here. No, I know. I'm referencing my. Alright, so you come back up and you are on what appears the other side of the cave in from the right of uh, turn. Oh. Uh, that's where we uh, killed that other dwarf, right? No, this is the. Uh, the one with right a lot of the crystals. The dead end. Yeah, the dead, oh, end. the dead end. Okay, so I'll just walk out and go back to the main path. Alright. Kind of, sort of. You have to spend, like, half an hour to an hour digging your way out, but you do make it out. Okay. Alright. All right. Uh, can I catch these guys back in town? Uh, they're, I, they're just hanging out at the entrance, right? Just oh, outside. Yeah. Okay. Just recovering. So, 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 like an hour of time have, so there's uh, no, what, we get to the cave and then there's an hour before he gets out and yes. an hour when Stahl is going off to town. And uh, can you slowly creep up the entrance? You want to sneak out? Yeah. Go and roll a stealth check. Right. So wait, uh, bef before he does that, I want to I want to talk to a no. rabble about things while we're alone outside the cave. So. Ooh. All right. Well, save your stealth check for later. What are you uh, talking? So, um, while while we're like sitting just outside the cave, I'm I'm gonna. I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask, uh, Gravel, do you belong to any faction, any co-worths? 
I belong to my tribe once upon a time, but for now I, I have no home, and I'm seeking one that will take me in. Estelle is left, right? Estelle is at the town. Yeah. If you want to report before coming back. Yeah, Estelle is left. So it's just the two of us. Yeah. Looking yeah. for somebody to take a take advantage of me. We'll just. Yeah, you, okay. you seem like the sort not unopposed to getting your hands dirty. What must be done must be done to accomplish the goals. I have a group you may be interested. After this mission, why don't you follow me? We'll see further if you are of the right spot. Sounds good to me. Okay, that's that's. That's all I really wanted to say to him. That's the thing. You guys are just hanging out. I have a friend. The you see me and Ana holding hands, uh, skipping into the town. <laughs> <laughs> That's that. Skipping off into the distance. All right. Murder, 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 uh, murder. He, he jumps on my back and we go, Eagle! Uh, your passive perceptions both uh, suck. So, Kim, you can successfully slip out of the cave. What are you... Um, Sir, I have a passive perception of 10. I have a passive perception of like, not that horrible, I think. His stealth is 19 stealth though. Is yeah, I know, he's, he's super stealth. Okay, so can I oh, see no, up behind no, Aura? I, I don't see you. Like, right oh behind, my god. Like, right behind Aura. And? Um, I'm just gonna bash him over there as hard as possible, knock him out. Oh no. Alright, so. Non lethal. Okay. I don't know if you want to put us on a. Well. On a, like first dungeon part, or. Uh, you, you do it. Here. Because I'm my attack back? Well, I'm. Maybe you might, you're the DM. I know. I wonder but how PvP many. Just, I... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've, I've heard about PvP. Was not expecting it in the first session. What are you talking? He literally left me in a cavern to die. He said he'd come back. Yeah, oh. Estelle also said I'll come back. Also, Estelle, yeah. two people said they'd come back. Uh, that's not good enough. <laughs> I mean, I'm pretty sure. Oh, no. I'm pretty sure everyone except for Estelle kind of wants Estelle dead as well, so. Yeah, we all hate him. I'm surprised it's kind of surprising more than two At the same time, still didn't cut the rope from me. I'm sad we can't, uh, we can't. Weird ish way. Mind you, our, I, I feel like I've gotten fairly well along with everybody. Yeah. <laughs> I broke in the door that you stole a sandwich. Yeah. I grappled the guy for a stealth. Yeah. And I didn't get mad at Arna for dropping my rope. people five minutes if they want to show up and I can do this. Alright. Wait, what are we doing? Ah, uh, we're waiting we're, for DMs. We're hitting people, so we gotta... We gotta get <laughs> PvP DMs in. We oh! <laughs> okay. We gotta call the cops. Who do you, uh, where, do you, where do you tag that? Is that like a special DM chat thing? We got like a plethora of DM channels. So here's right. the... Yeah, here's the here's the thing. If if do we click those fight afterwards? We, what yeah, happens when Estelle that. gets back? Are we only gonna find Estelle as well for abandoning us to the? Uh, it's possible. I mean, someone could be like, <laughs> "Hey, like, like, hey, I thought we could be like, look, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to attack you. Fuck that one bitch, though, right?" Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no. Okay. Uh, if, yeah, if he fails to knock me out, I already have a line for him, so... <laughs> Alright, go and click that teleport link with your token selected. Welcome, Pazlin. <laughs> Hello. You missed quite the session, I think. I don't know. Ready for the most dysfunctional... <laughs> ...as you can call it. The three chaotic neutrals and the neutral good! Alright. I'm true neutral. <laughs> I'm chaotic neutral. Minor, minor yeah. synopsis for it. Uh, they're all a bunch of just 
the worst people. <laughs> I'm not that bad. I'm not that so bad. So they they've had contentious little things. Uh, they left Kim down a hole to find his way out for about an hour. So I he did ended point out I didn't have room. I also they, didn't have rope. They so. cut the rope and threw it down to him. I did Okay, it was a feed rope. Let me, let me, let me. So he had to dig his way out of a cave for about an hour, and they were just chilling outside. So he tries to sneak out of the cave. He succeeds against their passive perceptions, and now he wants to KO our sorcerer. So. Okay, I can't even be mad. This is too hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty good. So, Ken, as you are from stealth, non lethally uh, smacking Aura in the head, go and roll your rapier with advantage. Oh, no, I'm going to hit it with the blunt end, though. No, no, it's still yeah. your rapier damage. Oh, wow, that's KO. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Alright. So, so uh, Gravel. I'll, wait, wait, wait. I'll immediately, like, turn Gravel and, like, like, fist bump him and, like, hey, what's up, buddy? What? No, he just invited me. Like, he's the first person I'm faction is. He's the first person to show me a home. And I'll right. a place to go. What is wrong with you? <laughs> I, I have a bonus action, right? Uh, yeah. Okay. Um. Let's just talk, Gravel. How, how you doing? How's the kids? What? <laughs> yeah. Don't make me do this. Do what? It's just, it's just, it's just, it's just you know, chill, come on. Wanna arm wrestle? Yeah, sure. Alright, let's go. Let's arm wrestle. Alright, so my strength is first versus yours. Alright, you ready? Alright. All right. Oh my god! Just that's perfect. <laughs> god. <laughs> this is not even. Well, he, he can roll a one as well. Well, he can't, like. He can yeah. still beat you any to... Oh my god. Break his arms. <laughs> oh my god, if you do that. Can I, can I, grow, can I throw him into a grapple? Can I, like, put this into a grapple? Out of that, um. You, get, you gotta get it from some net. Some negative for that critical fail. And yeah, that. we don't do critical fails. Right. I know. Oh, dumb. Arm wrestling. You're like fighting someone. You're like, you move your arm. You just try to hold it to your arm still. He moves. It just snaps. You're just uh, losing the grappling contest. Oh, very badly. <laughs> so you just almost instantly just slam his arm onto the apparent log that you have found to arm wrestle. <laughs> Can I, uh, can I turn this into, like, a pin? Uh, we, we have to roll initiative for that. I mean, no. Mm -mm. Don't do this. Don't do it. it. I know, don't do this. <laughs> you don't want to do this. You tell me. started it. Yeah, it doesn't. I'm just trying to pin you. I'm not trying to kill you. <laughs> yeah, I'm just, don't do you this. Can, you submissives, or you can fight. I'm telling you, you know what my character's gonna do, don't do this. You know what my character's gonna do. <laughs> Alright. We're doing this, apparently. Alright, boys, let's go. Go ahead and roll your initiative. I'm ready, boys. I'm trying to, like, not die with, like, if it's the <laughs> Why?! <laughs> so, I'm not oh. sure how many of us are gonna walk out of here. But I'm pretty sure it's gonna be less than four. Oh, fuck. Oh, just. Alright. I don't, I don't wanna kill him, but I'm trying to do. Why? I never did anything to you. You, you hurt my new friend! He's not. He, he literally just said, hey, you want to join a faction? And you're just like, sure. Yeah, I've been looking forward for months. <laughs> Let's see. Um, <laughs> okay. Alright, and this is... I'm, I'm so anxious right now. <laughs> 
That's my ocean. <laughs> Are we waiting on me or are we waiting on something else? I'm waiting for Suavez to just okay. just so we can see roll. <laughs> I I don't <sighs> So Ari Ar didn't tell me anything about the like I know what I Ari didn't tell me anything about the fact he's in, so <laughs> get back here. Oh. No, you guys are just like right up there. Right, right, right. I think I can take one hit from you. I'm not sure if I'm gonna attack you. Okay. I might just like try to pick you. And KO you and like carry both of you into town. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, you. you on the map? Yeah. Oh, you don't. So, gravel! to grapple him and like hit him. Um, Alright. Uh, that's athletics from you, Gravel. Kim, uh, you can do acrobatics if that's your better one. Fuck. Uh, acrobatic. Yeah. And I can't go into a rage since we didn't do anything. Uh, uh, you already used both of yours. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, you escape. But free. He just kind of lunges at you trying to grab onto you. Uh, anything else? Uh, I'll shout to Aura, like, wake up! We don't need to do this, we had a common enemy before this. Cough, cough, it's still a cough, cough. Cough, cough! Um, is that it? Uh, it's that's the first thing. Okay. Nah, if you attack me and you fuck up. No, I won't. <laughs> That's what you say. Uh, this is this is really close. Uh, I wake up. Uh, <laughs> um, uh, I could. All right, all right. Hey, listen, we all see our common enemy, right? Okay. It's it's, it's this one over here. It was a random person together. No, this one over here deserves it. So, I'll spare you. If, uh, we get the other one. How's that? <laughs> Why did this have to be the first session? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I agree, but we have to wake up, like, we have to stabilize Aura and get him back on his feet. Alright, alright, if he agrees, I'm fine with it. Yeah. Alright. Alright, let's get away. Deceptive at all? Gravel. No. Me? Not really. Okay. Mm -hmm. Or like, are you asking me if I might, like... No, I'm asking you straight up, are you lying? I haven't decided that yet. Oh, wait! Oh, you can't just make decisions like... Um, I have a slight, uh... I mean, I'll also do this. Oh. Uh... Can I... Well, uh... Can I make a perception check to see if he's actually true? We'll see. Rebel. I mean, you can fight him anyway. We were talking, I would have just told you all things about the faction without giving any away the secrets. The secret's bad, I'm kidding. One more time? Uh, during the, uh, during the uh, period where he was escaping from the cave, I would have told you small things about the uh, faction. It, no, no, no. I'll, I'll send you a message. But, yeah. Intense. Fuck. Oh my god, this is a bad rip on the super.
Uh, can I look my perception check now? Her insight is what you look Oh, insight, okay. God. He seems hesitant overall because you did just KO somebody. Oh on my the God. Road. <laughs> but he, but he's going along with it. Hi. All right. Um, so how are you rousing Aura? I. I'm not sure I can. Do you guys have any healing on you? I do not. I would just have to carry him to town, I guess. Unless he's, like, straight up dead. Can we continue combat? You guys should really try to wake me up. Right, but, I, I mean, you have, like, zero HP, right? Yep. Yeah. Zero HP, unconscious. But he like, did, he did, like, you're he did stable. stabilize me. He just hurt me, yeah. You're stable, I'm but we can't... I'm just unconscious. Yep. Can I wake you so up? You, you can like slap him awake. Yeah. Uh, make a make a medicine check. Oh my god. I have health potions on me too. Come on. All right. You I'll just give, give her. You just give her one good wake up backhand. And Aura is uh up at one HP. Uh, I'm gonna pull out the healing potion. I have in my pocket. Yeah, I think I have my chance. <laughs> I happen to have a normal one and a greater one. You should take the greater one. You should give me the normal one, buddy. Yeah. You only have 10 HP. Yeah. Right. So that's why you should take the greater one and give me the rated one. Or vice versa. Rest. I don't know how it works. We're gonna rest anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Are we? I, I'm. I'm gonna drink. I'm gonna drink my greater one and I'll give. I, I, I'll give the other one to a. Uh, Gravel. What do I roll to drink it? Uh, for a regular one? Yeah. Uh, it's 2d4 plus 2. What's a greater one? Uh, 4d4 plus 4. Hold on one second. That's... That's a lot. Uh... I was just about to say, like, I'll pull, like, I'm trying to think. Yeah, like, I'll, I'll lean in, like, I'll, I'll re reach my hand out to Aura, and if Aura takes it, I assume he would. To get up. After healing, Jesus Christ. It's a lot of heals. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's mess. great stuff to you, man. I am no longer dead. Um, so, if I reach out my hand to Aura, do you, uh, grab it? Yeah. As I, so as I, as I pull him up, I kind of whisper in his ear, like, what do you want to do? Um, I think we should wait for the return of the other one. Okay. Are we good? Are we gonna kill uh, that. Oh. I'm, I'm also, wait, I'm also gonna, I'm also gonna say to, uh, Kim, I thought you Freeman liked adventures. I'm just not gonna say anything and walk away. <laughs> that one got you. That's cool. <laughs> uh, okay, I just I just look at Aura and shrug. Okay, so now what? So, um. Well, here, let's handle the stealth. So, you make it back to town, unscape, takes about two hours. Uh, I'll also buy some ropes. Three of us are walking out of here. Yeah, I'll also buy some rope just in case. Can I my rope back, by the Um, what rope? I swear, I, you have my rope, I will murk you. Roll the search tonight. You actually hit it. I can do the if you want to. I actually hit it. I'll actually do that, yeah. I'm trying to see what were what, what, what you talking about. You can take care of this whole stuff and we'll get back to this if you want. <laughs> okay. So, what, what, who are you talking to in town? You're buying okay, uh, you I'm going to... Uh, what was the, where was the town again? Uh, first things first, I'm going to talk to Chris Sprongwallow. I'm going to yeah. tell him about the dwarves and uh, 
and the what and the golems that are still active and digging mindlessly and also how the tremors stopped once all the dwarves were dead I'm also going to tell this to Suron Flas okay and then ask where I can buy some rope uh, he'll point you to a merchant stall easy enough to purchase some rope then for I'll, yeah. a low price off uh, one gold. Okay, then I'll buy some rope, and I'll head back. Everybody's so rich. I'll buy I'll buy some rope and then I'll head back towards the group. Okay. So that's about another two hours. So the rest of you have, uh, because it took one hour for Kim to. You got three hours just hanging out outside. What are you guys doing? Uh, I guess a short rest, right? Yeah, two hours is a short we rest. A, we can't take a long rest. Mm-hmm. So you guys just short resting, Kim or uh Um I'm gonna act like I'm just gonna go catch up the town and actually just gonna hang out here. Okay, so you're like not by them but you're just awesome. Yeah, I can see them. Okay. Uh make a self check. Oh god. The ball wants to fail. Let me see. I rolled for my uh, die from the short rest. Is what that was just now? Uh, yeah. Please. <laughs> oh, you're fucked. Passive perception 10, motherfucker. God. <laughs> yep. So, uh, you, he uh, says he's going off into town, walks off a bit, and you see him just kind of like shuffle behind a tree. I, I look at Aura, I'm like. Do we just kind of like tolerate this guy, or <laughs> what did I do? I literally did. I mean, just... He randomly KO'd you, and now he's like, I... God, <laughs> I did abandon him in a hole. Should I uh, should I throw my hand axe at him again? Oh my god, I swear to God. Not yet. Okay, okay. No, actually, do it. Wait, I'm so far though, right? Okay, you're fine. Uh, they just know you're there. <laughs> we can just kind of see you, like, occasionally peeking out of the tree, and we can, like, see your cloak. Can, <laughs> can, can I, I, I the tree. <laughs> can I, like, do I know if they see me or not? Make an insight check. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> you are a master of stealth. No way anybody could find you. <laughs> Alright, uh, So, for your short rest, uh, you can roll as many hit die as you want. Kim, you have 2d8 to spend on healing yourself. Alright. Uh, so, how do I heal? You can just like, uh, do slash r d8 and Another one. <laughs> I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> All right, and you have one con. All right. So, so you heal back to max health. Ten, eleven. Yeah, you heal twelve. So you're good. Alright, and you guys all just hang out until Estelle gets back? I mean, we can head back towards the town. Then we can meet in, in the road like somewhere in the dinner. The stealthy, uh, stealth rogue. I mean, is there, is there really any reason to head back towards town? Figure out what happened with the rest of this quest. Complete, quote unquote, complete the quest, or figure I out, mean, find Estelle. Yeah, tremors are done here. As far as you guys know, there, there's your job here is done. I could really use a long rest so I can get my rage back. Okay, I say let's just head back to town. Mm-hmm. Okie doke. Yeah, I'll head back with them. Oh yeah, you just pop out of the, the trees after we thought you headed back earlier? <laughs> oh yeah, I don't think I... Uh, okay, that's not a game. Uh, 
Hey, it's only three years to leave if you obviously see me in the So you follow behind them? Yep. <clears throat> I go kill random dude, just kidding. Uh, yeah, I'll be somewhere at the market with all you guys uh, arrive, I guess. <laughs> Do I? I come to a cell and be like, hey, what happened? What did we miss? Uh, we'll just report everything. I bought some rope for, hey, he's already here. Yeah, he uh, managed to find his way out somehow. Dude, you should have seen it. He smacked the fuck out of Aura. No, it was just like a light cat. You knocked him out. No, 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 no. She just like... Deception? <laughs> you, you saw it happen! <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. You spread a lot in my face. Right? I don't know. Yeah, you spread a lot of Hey, by the way, where's my rope? I like to Estelle. What rope? Yeah. Go on, where's my rope? That what shit. rope? Rope, rope, that's what I said. <laughs> roll, roll deception for lying about. <laughs> Which one's that about? That, that's about uh, Aura just falling over. <laughs> no, I swear, I swear, I, I saw it right. I, I don't. I, all right, whatever. I swear. I, maybe I'm wrong. This group is crazy. <laughs> like, 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 Estelle is just, this group is crazy. I don't even know what to believe anymore. Estelle, I'm, I'm, it's fine. I'm, I'm, try, please, I mean, uh, it'll be fine. I, maybe I was wrong. But, but where's my, where's my rope? What rope? I want my rope. Then, want then, then Estelle, Estelle will just take the rope that she bought. Okay, here, get, take your rope back. Oh. Alright, that works, but but he also had my rope that Ara left him with. What do you what rope? Look 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 guys guys me. guys I don't Guys, let's not argue. Any loss of property I'll pay for it. Let's just go. So do you have uh, some gold I can borrow? What do you need it for? Uh I need some spice. So can you give me like one gold? <laughs> Actually, no, it was fine, so he missed our goal. Persuasion! Persuasion, I got you. It sounds like you're you need to do money for drugs. Uh, gimme, gimme. She hands you five gold, and then just goes back to screw. Alright, hold up. You know what, I'm getting pretty rich on <laughs> I really want to like, like, she, oh Estelle is just, she had enough of you guys already, she just wants this to be over. Estelle, I hope we party again in the future. God damn it! Okay. You guys tried no. to kill me! You guys Wait, wanted to kill, kill me! Yeah. yeah. Alright. Exactly. Not just from the enemies, but from the, from the people. Alright, so you uh, explain to uh, Scriff the happenings of the cave, how there is noticeably no more tremors uh, reaching the town. And I also explain it's the dwarf that was a causing, they were screaming out thunder blasters or something. And the crystals at one part of the cave, we don't know what they do. I don't know what they do. The others don't know. The others might know, I'm not sure. And yeah, that's basically it. Quite curious, really. Well, I don't really care much about that until I'll probably hear about some other dwarves. Well, now we know how to take care of it. Just kill them. Great work, everybody. Killing's always the answer we figured out. Apparently. <laughs> yeah. Well, I suppose you are all owed your uh, fair dues. Uh, what more, please? We'll count out some gold pieces. Let's see. Wait, have? how much gold pieces does he have on him? Oh my god. It, enough to pay you out all equally. But it does he have extra. Maybe. Do it. Start a fight in the town. Do it. I dare you. <laughs> he starts a fight. Come on, your character, yeah, is, smart. Your character is so talented and pleases himself, right? <laughs> it is. <laughs> Alright. Can I do a perception to see how much he has? Maybe. Hold on one second. <laughs> I gotta... Get my 
character of reasons. <laughs> How many cold blooded murder threats made in one session? I'm surprised I'm able to avoid it. Holy crap. <laughs> Oh uh, yeah, because the gnome that was coming down was not cold blooded murder. Alright. Mm -hmm. So, divided evenly, you all receive 87.5 gold peak. Wow. For, for your hard days killing. Nice. Nice. I, really uh, I, I, I won't take any of the gold and I'll just leave it for the rest and just fly away. Uh, I immediately. Take a handful of that. Alright. Whoa, whoa, whoa. He divides he, it. Yeah, he pays you out evenly. He's not. <laughs> he gives you each your own personal. Oh. But well, Estelle, want... Estelle, just, Estelle just doesn't want it and just shakes her head and just flies away. Um. Let's see. So I'll do like another 29.17 if you round up per person. Oh, she, she's dividing hers up. Uh, that's my, that was my, just my taking from what they said. I mean, she just said she doesn't take it, so either the NPC keeps it or it gets divided to us. Yeah, let's just have it divided to us. I mean, DM. Okay. I'll, I'll just redo the map over. This, this, this poor kind-hearted person got dragged into a party of nothing but murder. Estelle, Estelle, <laughs> thank you, thank you so much. I've been broke, I've been factionless, I appreciate it. You just do you. Oh, I plan to. <coughs> All right, so one hundred and sixteen point six for each of you. How much? One hundred and sixteen point six. Okay. Mm. He hands out uh, what looks like some uh, fine-looking medals. To each of you, Ooh. which is a crafting token, to yeah. spend at the Great Bazaar. So it's just a crafting token? Yeah, it's a crafting token. Right okay. uh, yes, uh, you, Gravel, and uh, Kim mm -hmm. uh, both receive an extra one for those fancy shiny rocks you found. I was about to ask. I was going to pull this out and be like, hey, what's these? Yeah. Me. Two crafting so, tokens. You both get. <coughs> Definitely remember when getting our blue uh, DM it to us. Uh, yeah, I can do that for you. You can what? Just DM it to you. Oh, I'm running it online right now. Yeah. Okay. Also, I got the five uh, gold pieces from uh, Estelle. Yeah, you can just write that down however you want. Okay. And also the rope, I okay. remember, Gravel. Hmm? You go back your rope. I gave you twenty feet yeah, back yeah, your rope. Twenty. Yeah. Twenty feet. Well, cause you use twenty feet before the what? Right. I use all. I use yeah. all my rope at once. Yeah, you use yeah. all at once. Oh yeah. So also I have your rope as well. Fifty feet. Wait. Did so one. Do you say that out loud? <laughs> no. I mean, no, don't say that. Okay. <laughs> Where's my rope? What rope? Where's my rope? Where's my rope? Where's my rope? Where's my rope? But yeah, the one go one go worth of rope is for you. Uh, I. Yeah. Whatever. Oh. <laughs> She's just tired of this. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> and once this mission is over, which it technically now is. Whatever. I might kill this guy. <laughs> you all receive one mission value. Yeah, that's the only thing Estelle's gonna get from this. <laughs> Give me my rope. <laughs> no. Hold it more Oh. Estelle, do you take the crafting token? Uh, no, no, no. Crafting token I didn't take. I only take that mission value, that's it. Alright, so, uh, what's your face? Aura gets a bonus from the... Yay! I lost the fraction. So, so mm. two for each of you. Zero for Estelle, yeah. Alright. I'm trying to sell. <laughs> She's just tired of you guys, man. She just doesn't want... I hope we party again. God <laughs> damn it! <laughs> so, this mission is officially over. I'm so upset about my rope. <laughs> you already have rope, I'll still give you some rope. Not 50 feet. Wait, yes you, you can't just purchase rope. They gave me 20. They gave you, uh... One goal was how, how much, how long? 
Mug gold is 50 feet worth. Oh, okay. Okay, fine. Uh, but I have a hundred feet of rope. <laughs> <laughs> I, ha- I have a hundred feet of rope. No, you huh, that rope looks really rope. familiar because I braided it myself. <laughs> no, I'm pretty sure this is different. Esther yeah, has uh, flown away, so I'm out. If he, if I, I, I don't believe him. Because he's been Like if he uh, can't, if he can't I mean, see I me. Mean, Straight up, don't believe him. Because I mean, the rope was down there with. Right. You can connect two and two. Yeah. Right. So intimidation. Give me my rope. Are there gonna be problems? Well, you, you can't social check other players, unfortunately, unless okay. they let you. Give me my rope. Are there gonna be problems? Initiative. If you see this big X, I wonder how it would feel meeting your skull. I am out of there. No. You don't want to see this fight? No. Just gone. Fly 50 flying speed. (laughs) Zip out of there. (laughs) What you doing, Kim? Uh, I wanted to do a perception check on this guy to see. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Previously, for the outro. That's fair. Go ahead. Go ahead and roll. I'm I'm on top of him, like this. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Just breathing down his neck. Yes. And that is here. I'm my rope. Where's my rope? Where's my rope? Where's, Where's my rope? What is it? Oh, perce- what is it? Yeah, per- perception. Just perception. <laughs> Doesn't look like he has that much more on him. He has a bunch of traveling gear on him, but you can't really pinpoint exactly how much. Gold you have left on it. Okay, um, yeah, it's gold worth of stuff. <coughs> I'm gonna do a slight of sand check to so, like make it seem like I I got I didn't get all my gold. I'm right on top of him, and if I see him do that, I go, "What you doing there?" <laughs> uh, Medicaid. I'm not I'm on top of you because I want my rope. <laughs> you want me to settle this? No, we haven't. <laughs> all right, okay. okay. So. Can I do a sleight of hand? That, that'd just be straight up stealing from him. Yeah. Okay, so you want to steal it from it, him? Do it. Broad daylight. I mean, I'm not, stealing, I'm not stealing his gold. I'll just, like, say, hey, I didn't get all my gold. That's a deception check. Okay. <laughs> Can't be like, no, he did it out. He did it out all right. You got one sixteen. No, 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 I didn't. Yeah, you did. Nope. Really? Let's count your gold. I'm, I'm certain I did, but if you, let me see what else I got. Okay. Thank you. I'm still amazed that Effie is over here, just looking at this. <laughs> My face hurts from smiling like that. I, I'm anyway. still amazed that Ethan is still over here just watching. <clears throat> it must be among your party somewhere. I only have my personal stuff. Yeah, I, mean, I have, a, I have I mean, 16. How much do you have, uh, Art? How much gold do I have? Yeah, we got. I got 116. What'd you get? Uh, you know, I had at least 116. Yeah, yeah, I mean, we all got 116. Yeah. Hey, stop! Then what happened to Michael? Well, the little mean? fairy person didn't take anything. Uh, she just wandered off. I'm, I'm a Jedi. Then, pull, out, pull out your gold. Let's count it. Uh, how then I need to be reimbursed my work. Uh, you've been fairly, you've been fairly paid, I mean. If this is not enough for my mercenary work. It's standard pay for mercenaries, especially of your, I'm sorry to say, lesser caliber. Uh, for what you were saying, he's talking shit, you should smack him. Well, all of us so that we completely eliminated the threat to your town. I think we can, uh, I think you can relieve yourself of some gold. Not my town, and also, not my gold. Look <clears throat> 
Normal <laughs> intimidation. Okay, how are you intimidating him? Uh, actually, let's see. As Gravel is reading down your Okay, alright, alright. <clears throat> we will slide up, slide up here as I'm counting my gold to, to them to like prove that I don't have enough gold. I'm staying intently at him. <laughs> That's fine. It's still versus your perception. So, uh, roll sleight of hand, uh, Gravel, since you are basically staring him down as he does it, you can roll perception. God, God. Oh! <laughs> what? Hey, Kim, why are you, uh, why are you trying to deceive, uh, old man's griff here? Would he? No, I, I didn't, I just miscounted. Hold on, no, sorry. Yeah. no. You miscounted just like you missed, you, just like you lost my rope, huh? <laughs> what are you talking about? Hey man, we can settle this like men from the Badlands, or you can just give me my property back. I I don't have anything but what that belongs to. I'm about to grab one and pull them up. Trip, how is uh, how's the law in this town? <laughs> I mean, you shouldn't assault people, you shouldn't break into people's houses, you know, stand in <laughs> We are also in classic, so you could end up in the shackled region, you know, small things. What if it's to get my property? Oh, I mean, that's fair game, so I'm oh, perfect. able to explain it. <laughs> Did you hear that? Should I, Kim? I mean, we, we, had a, we had an agreement, and now you're, now you're fucking with me. I need to try to deceive this old man. That's fucked up. Like, I'm neutral, man. Like... Which would be cool, but uh, I mean, consequences are dire. Like lessons I, learned not in blood are not remembered. I don't have any. Room I know I'm still recording this, but this I is just too good my, to I, I not pass up. So. Oh my god! <laughs> oh man, <laughs> this is Are you kidding? Me? Is it? I yeah. Not my room. <laughs> oh, no. Am I extremely medicated? No. So okay. oh. you. <laughs> He threw down 50 feet of rope. You, the person who has been uh, grubby and all sorts of uh, just basic uh, thief level scumbag, yeah. did not take something. He can't prove it, so why would he? I mean, he's trying to. Hmm. The only thing you're saying. Feet. The only thing you're saying. I didn't see hundred feet that well. I didn't care. Right. He did. That's okay. That's fair. Uh. So, like, actively prove that you don't have his rope. RP better. Okay. Um. We're taking X in the chest. It's your choice. You can be Thanos. I can be Thor. All right then. Um. Can I do a sleight of hand? Two. Two. You need two or two like do what? Um to like empty my stuff to show that like I don't have anything. Uh yeah. Okay. Uh please don't show me now. What are you doing, Gravel, while he is emptying his pack? Staring at him. Like, I I hold up my hand. If you're being honest, hand me your pack. Ah, uh, okay. Please, give me something good. <laughs> <laughs> there we go, boys. Okay. So do you, so you, sleight of hand, you're trying to conceal the rope, apparently. 50 feet worth of rope. <laughs> all over some fucking <laughs> Hey, that's one gold, man. It's true. I, I, I was fashionless. I don't know the value of 116 gold yet. Uh, do you hand over your pack after that for him to search? No, because it's mine. <laughs> so you just, like, dump out your pack on the ground? No, I just showed it to him. And I was just like, look, there's nothing in here. Okay. Right. Uh, yeah. per perception check for Grapple. Hey, look what I found. Oh at, at the bottom of the pack, he's like kind of holding it just so that it can be 
underneath all of his other stuff, you can see, like, some rope people. Oh, my God. Uh, that's mine. <laughs> Is that a <laughs> Yep, that's, that's yours. <laughs> yep, that's mine. You have 100 feet of rope. This is 50 feet of rope. I pointed at the two separate pieces of rope. Then you can't see that one. You, you, see, you see some rope peeking out. I mean, yeah, but it could just be mine. Give me my Because, like, I have, I have my own rope. I do. Pull it out. Pull it out. Let's I see have, how much there is. Let's see how much there is. How much length? I have 50 feet of silk rope. Prove it. I don't need to. Wait. You can see hey. it. No, you just fucked up. My rope's hemp. I mean, you can't really see because you can't I see like uh, You can't see for, exactly for clarification. Rope. The burglar's pack comes with fifty feet of hemp and rope, okay. and the silken rope is from being. Okay, so I wanted to feet. Okay, yeah. So yeah. So you do have one hundred and fifty <laughs> feet of rope. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll. I'll like. I'll explain to him, like, my burglar with that pack and everything, I'll just tell him. Yeah, and then I, we're adventurers, like, we all have packs, we all come with rope. Yeah, and so how, is, how, much, how much rope do you have? I have enough. I okay, use it on my deck. If you, if you really don't have my rope, let's count how much rope you have. I'm not playing these games with you, and I zap right. I, I'm just trying to ask you to be honest, man. I, I, I don't understand, I, 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 I prove to you well hey, enough that I don't Aura, have you. Aura threw my rope down to you. Because you asked for it. That's I didn't what test I for it. I yeah, you did. He was like, he was like, she was like, do you want the rope? And you said yes. Wait, I mean, technically it's exactly, like this. Yeah, they, so where's my rope? I don't, didn't, I didn't use it. I left it there. I had to fight for my life. Then you owe me 50 feet of rope. I don't owe you anything. You should go and back you to left my, You left my rope. You owe me 50 feet of rope. I mean, no. It's your fault for, uh, actually, it's Aura's fault, because she threw it down. Yeah, you could've just got it. Why am I supposed to pick up after someone else? You're the last one that had it. It's like Why dishes in an it? apartment. <laughs> no. The last person to use it much. No. Uh, I don't have to pick up after your trash. It's down there. Go find it. As I say, let's go together. <laughs> but I don't want to make the session go on much longer than it was. You can take as long as you need. Mm. You, you want to come back with me? Let's go get some rope? I mean, I really don't have the time to go back into a cage. Oh, that's shame. Then you should give me my 50 feet. You literally have no proof to say that. Empty your pack. Empty your pack. I, I don't have... Why would I do this? I don't believe you. I, I see you. rope. I don't, I don't believe that it's not mine. This is my rope that I earned, okay? Good sir. Uh, if it's high, I'm rolling a d100. If it's high, I'm gonna attack you. <laughs> what? Hmm. I mean, if you don't want to give me that rope, that's fine. I'll remember this. I mean, I just don't have it. But I don't believe you. You have no proof. You haven't. You haven't proven to me without a doubt. So all I know is you're stealing from me. And that's honest. Okay. That's so I guess, that's I a guess shame you, on my name. I mean, you're shaming I, I, me after I, I agreed to not kill you for knocking out my newfound friend. I mean, I would just say, I would just say, check your newfound friend. That's about it. After not killing you, you keep my rope. And you try to persuade this old man out of more gold. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. You're letting them leave? Mm -hmm. Can I rest up and follow him? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> How long is this going to go on? To what end? I don't know. How long are you going to give me my rope? <laughs> I can really attack him. 
right. I feel I have shame. Like I feel like I've been stolen to. Or I feel like I have shame on me. Aura, are you following? Sure. Oh my god. Okay. No stealth. Both of you roll stealth, and neither of you have a disadvantage or anything. Fuck! Okay. Um. Uh, so, is what, do I just do my perception? Uh, it would be your passive, meat beats, and your. Wait, but passive. wouldn't it be checking behind me? Like, what would you be? Yeah. Okay, then you can roll perception. Alright, uh, skill checks. No. <laughs> no. God. Oh my god. That's, that's oh awful, god. but, uh. Oh my god. The. 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 Just the behind supremely me. unstealthy pale woman. Fountain. So, let's see. Uh, You're just like right here. He looks at okay. He just sees me walking. Well, it'll just be like out, outside. Here, we'll move it outside. Oh, okay. That's so, like, like <laughs> at some point along the path, he looks behind him, and wow, there's Aura, like Aura. <laughs> Somehow, this seven foot ten Goliath hides behind me. Yeah. Uh, what do you do, kid? Just drop it. Just drop it on the ground. This will be fun. I have a name to make for myself. Oh uh, god, I'm trying to throw initiative. Uh... <laughs> Follow, hey, for, for, real, real talk real quick. Yeah. Out, outside of, out, out of character, this is all good fun. Yeah. If one of us dies, I love you. Yeah, I know. <laughs> uh... But that room, dude! I, hey, I want my property. <laughs> Hey, if he dumped his pack and there was only 100 feet of rope, 50 feet of heaven and 50 feet of self, hey, my rope's lost, I believe. But he will, he refuses, he refuses to cooperate. <sighs> you also don't see me. I, I see mean, uh, he wouldn't have uh, heard you, but yeah, if yeah. he just looks back, you're there. <laughs> The dies in your hand, kid. You know what? Alright. I'm gonna dash at 60 feet into these trees. Yeah. Alright. <laughs> and I'm gonna do a bonus action hot. We're gonna roll initiative first. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Alright, go on, go on. Oh no. <laughs> I I guess I'll roll as well. I'm sorry for involving you in this <laughs> order. I would probably help find you if I made it. Yeah. Alright. Let's go. Okay. Good job, Aura. So, Aura. You're. Uh. Looking at Kim, he's like looking back at you. Keeping his eye on the path, looking back at you. And then he's starting to like, uh, what's that thing called? There's like a thing in police training, but he's like, keeps looking into the woods for like a place to dash to, and it's look like, it looks like he is going to. Do you care? Do you do anything? Um, chaos bolt. Um. <laughs> 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 One moment, please, because you have not had a long rest yet. You cast Charm Person and Chaos. I, as a, I class Charm Person as the racial feat, and ah, then there we go. Okay. Chaos. There's well, also there's still have two slots left. Sorcerers also don't. Aren't sorcerers like warlocks get spell slots back with a short rest? Nope, they have sorcery okay. points to manipulate it. But uh, so you're good to go. Go ahead. Yes, I still have attack. two slots, anyways. D twenty plus six. I'm messing just okay. later, by the way. 
um, might be too late for that, but uh, let's let's see what happens. Uh, Please, uh, nice. we'll figure it out. You but you need like two times over. Right? I just want my rope. That's all I want. Uh, how very dead are you going to be? Cool. All right. Sixteen hits his ace. Oh, so that's a to hit, right? Yes. So, what's chaos bolt? Two d eight plus two d. Yeah, now so, we're rolling. So, the so roll your. Uh, yeah, roll them separately. So. Stop! Come back! You're missing a great time. <laughs> <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> was it two d eight plus something, or what'd you say? Or was it just 2d8? 2d8 1d6. Oh my god. And you get to shoot he's at 1. Force or poison? Mm, I mean, I, I... I I would I would have said, like, I can't say it now. I feel like it'd be... That would be metagaming kind of hard. Knowing what he'd force, be at. Force, because I don't, I don't want to fully kill him. Not yet, at least. Alright, so... Sorry, sorry. So, out of, six, out of character. Yeah. Sorry about this, my dude. Alright, so... But you're about to become very dead. Alright, so... That's, that's, that's uh, 6... Or else, no, it's 14. He has 1 HP. You take 14 damage. Drop the rope. <laughs> like, even if I don't put up this lane, or is still gonna kill me? I'm not gonna kill you. You don't know that for sure. Certain. Yeah, I right. definitely know that for certain. Okay. I'm trying to win Aura over, or is trying to win me over. All we want is <laughs> Alright, Aura, anything else? Bonus action, movement? Uh, nope. I'm just gonna stand there as this man slowly bleeds out in front of me. Kim. <sighs> you had a good time in the mines? Fight or your life. Out of character. I had to do what my doing. I'm sorry. I have jowl wounds. <laughs> You're gonna actually kill them with that, like. That's true. Can't non lethal range damage. Just so you know. Oh, damn. I didn't know that. Can I hit myself up and give him the damage again? Mm, for PvP, unfortunately, we have to stick really close to Rook. So, no. Chaos Bolt is so strong, though. That was insane. That was good. Who could have been? Dude, I had a war oh my god, I missed my warlock. What is, uh, what is your thing? Spellcast? Spellcast oh, versus melee versus just NPCs? Dude, I had a warlock. Up. Like, even, okay, like, here's the thing, like, if I go out and shit and lose in the forest, and, like, if you guys find any forest, I'm gonna So. I, I will, I am gonna try to not be a forest. I'm gonna throw that out there. I mean. Again, I'm not trying to do it. I'm trying to do it. Oh, alright, alright. I don't believe you. I just, I don't, don't believe you. I'm That's trying to do it. I'm talking about my room. Extremely effective. Alright, boys. It's been a really good ride, yeah. <laughs> this is it, boys. No. No. Quite literally at the end of the road. What are you gonna do? Come back up and fight. Do you believe in your own abilities? Absolutely. I do. Oh shit. <laughs> Alright. I have Swan Sparkler, so I always get stealth. Okay. So. Nobody, nobody else has leveled yet, so. Leveling is done after session. No, I, I have already on level 2. Yeah. Rogues get their archetype at level 3. Oh, okay. Uh, God. Do I get anything extra? You have bonus action disengage, 
dash hot. You have your expertise skills, which is whatever. And that's it for rogues. Uh, okay. No, I can't ask that question. That's just too. No, whatever. We're going. Uh, please let this be a one shot. I need this to be a one shot. You're attacking with your rapier? Rapier and sword sword. Okay. <laughs> uh, leaf or non leaf? <laughs> uh, oh no. Uh, no, this didn't. This didn't. Uh, double. Double HP? Well, no. HP. Oh yeah. Isn't it if you if, if the attack drops you below? If well, I don't think he. Well, actually, he has no negative half your health. So like, if you had you, he would have to deal HP. twenty damage to you in one attack to kill you yeah. right now. But he he, he literally health. cannot. Do that, <laughs> so. so are you? Not not lethal just makes him unconscious and. He is not bleeding out to make that save. So are you not lethal or lethal? Uh, give me a second, okay. Uh, oh yeah, that was a crit. So it it does max damage, so that's 12. You sneak it, he doesn't get sneak attack right now. No. After this, I can do a 60 foot dash, right? You can bonus action dash, yes. But his bonus action will only be 30 feet since the attack, right? Rogues get bonus action dash, and he used uh, 10 feet of movement to get, so he has 50 feet of movement if he bonus action dashes. I suppose since I'm technically dead, I can't get do a reaction. Uh, what would your reaction be? You don't know it's, it's lethal. Alright, yeah. you're... So then no. I think it still depends what your reaction is. Uh, just attacking him as a, uh... Well, what attack? Because I know, like, Hellish Rebuke would still go off, right? Yeah. Level 2 spell, he doesn't have it. Well, oh, right. I'm also, I'm also, uh... Do we? Just check this. What, what do you have for reactions? What are you trying to do? Uh, pretty sure I can, just I hit him. Actually, no, it'd be a grapple attack, so... No, I can't. I'm not, I can't do anything. Okay, so you're out. You're bleeding out. Fuck. So you, so you will have to make death saves on your turn. Okay. Uh. Horror, no. And this is where everyone dies. <laughs> yeah. Hey. Except no. the person who flew away. Oh, oh dash out. Why you don't actually cluster three murder hobos together? And I'm gonna <laughs> roll stealth. Nope. Wait, I can't match you. An action to hide. Okay, so hey, if I just like run out here, then you can run out there. Like, that, that, that's about it. And he just like also you see? Maybe. Uh, let's see. What can I do? <laughs> you fucked up. <laughs> no. No, I did. There's a ruler tool up uh, top left. Uh. Beside the pointer too is the ruler too. You don't have to dash, you can hide behind a building, but he'll absolutely see. Yeah, there's actually nowhere to run. You can just run fast. Can I do like my bonus section is like to dodge? Nope, that's a fun <laughs> thing. <laughs> oh. You can attack Aura again if you want and kill her. Or I mean, I, 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 um, <laughs> it, would, it would make me instantly fail a death saving throw, but it wouldn't kill me. Two of them. Two. Oh, it's, oh yeah, I guess it's two. I need to say, I need to somehow KO him and save both of them. 
I okay, if I remember each of these words is like can you find me or probably <laughs> Would you can, 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 come on can you say probably? Yeah we can. You don't know what he's gonna do. He can probably find you. Okay, he's gonna be put in like a scenario where like he can either say more or he can like go and chase me. Or if he's lucky he can do both. I believe in aura. <laughs> so options have been given and okay. thinking on that is player intuition. Alright. How deep is this war? <laughs> this? That, yeah. That's nothing, it's like 10 feet of water. Alright. Alright. I'm running and diving to the water. How deep is it? 10 feet. I'm going all the way down. Yeah, I'm just on feet. Alright, so from here, 50 feet of movement. Alright, Gravel, you get an attack of opportunity as you run past. Wait, <laughs> Wait, hold on me! You actually I'm swinging. I you didn't I I told you your pathing options before. <laughs> what would you do? We can eat. Is they send you a yes, is it sorry? That hits? What's up, Swallows? Oh. 15 hits? I think it's... Uh, non-lethal or lethal? As I see Aura bleeding out, my rage increases and I say lethal. Um, Wait, okay. what? You act... <laughs> I don't actually enrage, but I say... Like, I'm angry that my newfound friend is leaving. <laughs> he literally was just like, "Can you want to join a faction? Best friends." No one has done that for me. I, I, I had you back. I, I had you back the entire game. I had you. Mm. Yeah, I'm actually dead. No, you're just unconscious. I just. You're also bleeding out. Yeah. Okay. So, are we out of combat? No, people are on okay. death saves. So. Okay. That's so I guess my death saves first. So it's so it's my initiative. So, Gravel, you are so, up. So what I want to do, there's there's a couple things I want to do. Um, cause I can't, I can't stop them from bleeding out, right? Uh, you can make a medicine check, but it'll, uh, without any healer's kit or healing potions, you're... Right. It has to be a decently high check. Was there any town, I mean, I should have invested, like, I mean, I understand if I don't know. Um, was there, like, any sort of medic in this town? They had an alchemist? But getting there, they might bleed out before you can get. Fuck. Um. So what? What I want to do is pick up both of them and run to the alchemist. You could probably make. You could try to make a medicine check. That's, that's not like you can either carry us a medicine check. That's about your own options. Uh. Medicine yeah, check. Carrying this would be better. Right. You can only carry one of them. Or kind I, of carry, I am strong enough to carry both. Yeah, but you could only, like, heft one over your shoulder, and then you'd be half move. You can stack up some Well, top so, of I'm not encumbered until... Right, but you're carrying people, that's just half movement in fighting. Even for, like, a Goliath? <sighs> like, in my size? I believe like, so. Like, don't think, I don't think... No. I'm I know. I'm not thinking mechanically, I'm thinking counter key that I can just grab both of them from the back of their shirts and uh, I easily know, carry them in. I know, but for... If you were a large, well, even with like, so even with the people, well, let me see. see. I'm not trying to like, because I can I push, know. drag, lift. I can, I can even lift. I can lift 510 pounds. Mm -hmm. And by lift, I mean literally 1,020 pounds because of my powerful build. Yeah. Let's see. That th I think the argument could be made that you can't carry both of us yeah. safely. Mm. Without causing harm to us both. That's true. Jostling us around while that makes us like I mean, that, that, that makes sense. sense. Fuck. Uh, 
Don't let me die. <laughs> do I... I mean, I'm trying to... Med- I don't want to meditate you now, because I'm trying to think, like, what the DC for them to, like, for me to stabilize them is. So I'd be rolling a flat D20. It, it, it's decent. Well, yeah, I still get my death stage, right? Yeah, you both yeah, do. Yeah, we're am I able to... Time. Am I able to carry one while rolling medicine? Uh, you, it'd be like your whole action to pick them up and do the medicine. Okay, so you can carry multiple people. That's all. Sorry, well, if you want to type it, feel free, feel yeah. free to type, man. <laughs> Don't force your voice if it hurts or something. I appreciate you for putting up with our shenanigans. Yeah, this is this is my first session, by the way. Like, How are you level two then? Uh, I missed out on one session because the guy came. Oh, and they automatically give it back to you. Yeah. Okay, but it if they'd still be half movement, right? They're not. I mean, it's like I said, like because of my powerful build, I don't get encumbered very early. Like I don't, I don't really get encumbered. Okay. So we're not, not have. Okay, hold on. So we can actually get out of here. I grab them and get to the alchemist. Okay. So. That seems like the best plan. To save both of them. So you're full dashing. Yes. Carrying both of them. All right. So. That's here, for one. That's here for one turn. Like, bash my skull. No, yeah. no, I, no, I'm gonna, by the way, I'm gonna steal your pack. Oh my god. And take out my rope and then give it back. That, that's yeah. a separate thing. <laughs> I'm saving people's I'm lives right now. <laughs> can or a, like this, you can add you can add to your character sheet that you survive a chaos bolt to the back of the yeah. head. And a fucking great axe to the chest. <laughs> yeah. Because you uh, I assume you want a death save? Yes. Okay. Failure. Kim. Uh, saving throw. Just a straight D20. Is it a death check? Is it a death check? Just, yeah. You can click on your character and click that. Okay, oh. Alright, still little. Oh. <laughs> Gravel, another 60 feet. I yell for the alchemist. <laughs> All right, I'm like I'm yelling for help as I go to Tom Gates. Uh, help! Local kind of. So. I, I gotta save Aura somehow. Oh my god! Uh, wh- what's wrong? What's wrong? Oh, my friends are dying. Save them, please. <laughs> Stabilize them. Stop the bleeding. Okay. Uh, the alchemist has Those tears dropped on my face. The alchemist has potions ready. If if they both survive this next, it'll be a, oh no! It it'll be a steep cost of a hundred gold, but Hora, they think I'm a hundred gold on both of them. They'll pay for it. I swear. Yep. Yep. Nope. <laughs> I'll grab the gold from them before they wake up. Hora, death saving. Hora, please. Hora, please. Can he have a damage from me, like, weeping as... Nope. No. No. Uh... Wait, I'm actually trying to... Wait, is there a... Are you Uh, yeah. yeah. In campaign macros. You haven't actually died, you're still on two. Yeah, I know. Okay. Uh, but, uh, two fives in a row. No. Kim. No. Wait, is he actually did it? No. No. He has to kill three. Oh. Oh, so we have... Maybe. Kim, <sighs> that's yeah, saving code, just for fun. Oof. That's two. Okay. Am I up? No. Raul okay. takes him up. I'll roll, I can roll medicine here too since I have full move. So. I'll roll medicine on. I'll roll. Hold on. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Never mind. I mean, you're trying to stop the pain, oh, but it's, it's kind of all over the place. Um, oh, I, I, I jam my giant fingers as like into the wound so that it doesn't bleed out. <laughs> That's a bit intense here. Just give it one of these. Save him. Save him. 
All right. He'll hand you a potion, and they'll have one. Can I force it in? Or, like, because I would have rolled medicine if he had the potion. Yeah. No, he would have done this. I, 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 right. <laughs> but you're just, like, stopping up the right. waiting. Do a potion. Like, Who I, are you I force it into Aura. All right. And he will feed his to... Just wait, just wait on him. Wait on him. Oh, I have to get something off his body. I have to get something off his body. He, he's okay. He's Red, not as bad as this I, guy. He's, di- he's dying. I can't really do this. <laughs> no. He, he's man, just going to pour that out. No. no. <laughs> How would he know that I'm not dying as that for? This is... This is... He knows it. All right. Why are you like this? <laughs> you, you started this. <laughs> Oh, you could you could have given me my rope. <laughs> my rope, by the way, which costs one gold. Hey, I'm a man of my like. Hey, I'm from the Badlands. I had nothing before today. Rope is valuable to me. One gold is valuable. Okay. You both come to consciousness, both of you, and uh, held firmly in Gravel's arm. I I uh I went down. I let them both down, and as I let him down, I take his back. Are you, I, can I like do something? And where am I like here? Since we're since we're still gonna be fucking fighting about this, yes. Um, <laughs> I mean, he's pretty dead, right? Like he's like he can't. He's got like super disadvantage from almost dying. I mean, they're they're both they're both at uh six right. HP. being carried by, uh, Gravel. Okay, I guess I'm gonna, um, I guess I'm just gonna stand. Alright, you just kind of pop down off of them. Yeah. Anything <laughs> else? Nope, that's... <laughs> Alright, Kim. Um... Run. Run? Yeah. I'm Whoa. Really yeah, I'm holding you, by the way. <laughs> Wait, what is this next? Yeah, he's still holding you. You have to, like, recuperate. Okay, I'm gonna, like, sm- I'm gonna, like, give him a nice smile. Like, get off. Like, get off of him. And then, uh, hold him? Wait, why? You can't do this. You did do this to Orin. You can't do this. Yeah, I was willing for Orin to, like, get, like, get off. Uh, <laughs> come on. We we have business. I have business with you to take care of. So does the alchemist. Exactly. I just not paying for anything. <laughs> this is the greatest thing I've ever witnessed. Alright. You guys, I gave you guys gold, you're gonna spend it on potions that were. Were... <laughs> I mean, R, yeah, I was like, R, like, like, R is gonna lose some gold, but, uh. That's okay. Fine. Was it, is it 100 gold each or 50 gold? Yeah, 50 nine. gold per Oh, okay. That's fine. It's gonna come out of a uh, cabbage. No. Uh, I mean, I'm holding you. I am free. No, I. <laughs> how do we. I mean, I'm not letting go of him. That's why? 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 This is why. Okay. So he's still holding you. Okay, can I make like, a little free? What do I roll for that? Uh, we'll do a, con- a contested check. So, athletics versus acrobatic. Nice yeah. <laughs> Fuck, man. Get him out. Alright. <laughs> so, you wriggle free of his arm. If you run, <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna throw a javelin into your face. Oh my god. You know what? I just saved your life. We have to pay the alchemist. Alright. I could have let you die. Alright. For saving my life. I demand I'll a rope, and you pay the alchemist. No. I will give you a potion. You. No. Listen. Yeah. I will give you your rope. Okay. I take out his his rope. So you admit it. You have my rope this whole time. I mean, you don't know that. I just take out a rope, and I give it to you. This is the most petty. 
Yeah. Alright, and once they do that, I look at the alchemist, the alchemist, um, and I just scold him, and then I just go away. You just what? I just scold him, I just like look at him and just You scold the alchemist? Yeah, and then I try to just hold him gone. Unfortunately, you don't. So, <laughs> wait, so what? you scold him, and yes. he wants his fucking money! I'm not giving you any money. <laughs> I tried to save this man. I can come up from behind him and grab him. Oh my god. Hold on. He's still there. We're still fighting apparently. Sir, I saved your life. This is expensive stuff. We can't just go tossing it around willy nilly. I need money. I didn't ask for it. I, Which I, will have to, I will have to call the town guard on you. Please, just pay your dues. How much is it? 50 gold pieces. Eight twenty. It's not. It's done. We're not negotiating anymore. 50 gold pieces. I'm a little perception. I'm a little perception. Four. Uh, and no persuasion. That's what it is. Roll with disadvantage. Oh my god. Uh. Alright, let me see. How do I do this? So. So you just roll persuasion twice, and we take the lower. Okay. out on this tab and I cannot lower the price that much more. 45 at the best. Oh my god. Uh, <laughs> why do I have to pay? Alright, well, I'm oh, very, uh, oh god, what do I do? Uh, is there like a way I can unpass when I see what I'm blocking? Like, uh, you used your action to try to persuade him. You could have done it to just shove him out of the way. Let me know when it's not my initiative. I can't do that because the gravel is just going to I can't. Uh, 45 gold. Oh, God. All he's doing is making me up in this my payment. We can just, like, hand wave it later, but just for. For the sake of this, we'll go by no, turn. No, no, just okay, okay. doing this to make him look bad. Then you can do it on your turn. <laughs> Unless you wanted yeah. to have already done it. Okay. Which you can't work on go back to that. Can I do a perception check to see how strong this guy is? That'd be Marshall. Marshall? Yeah. The mm -hmm. special variant. So it's under, um... Skip. Yeah. Her ability checks, rather. Okay. He yeah. looks like a basic merchant dude. Like, can I see him? Like, is he like, does he have any experience in combat or? He he has a dagger. He uh, was, as you know from previous experience, an ex mine owner. Do so you think he has like very rudimentary like tough guy stuff? But he he's a pushover. You could easily knock him out. Uh, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't feel like dying again. Alright, uh, I, I have one hundred and what? One hundred and twenty-one gold. <laughs> Alright, I give him twenty gold. Twenty. Alright, and the rest. That is. It. No, it isn't. I, I have eyes, my boy! Come on! By the way, your voice for the Oculus, it's awesome, dude. I just wanted to throw that up. Uh, can I just, can I just have it, just, just let it be known. You've wasted a hundred gold over one gold worth of gold. <laughs> oh, it's, it's about, it's about the, uh, 
It's the principle. It's the principle. Yeah, it's the principle. I'm a man of my word. Like, Let me also be known that I spent like, one go this. to get back that rope. Picture this: if I go this far for some rope, imagine how far I'll go for some more. He, he's still holding out his hand. Let me know when it's my initiative. How old are the forty-five? All right, like I am forty-five. All right, total. Yes, total. All right. You will very carefully count it out right in front of your face, <laughs> put it away in his coin purse. Thank you. Die. I walk. <laughs> does, uh, does anything happen from that? Anymore about Kim or you have your rope, okay? Have your rope. He's paid the alchemist. Alchemist, you cool? Do you want me to take care of that, or are you good? Listen, yeah, I've I, had stranger and worse days. It's. Uh, I mean, I hold up a job room. I can just take care of it for now. Oh, please, no. That, that's more gold out of my pocket, really. I don't. No, I only no, have so many potions. We, we wouldn't. We wouldn't bring it back this time. I cannot recommend murder, unfortunately. Okay, I could have got you that five if she go. It's nothing, really. Okay, please. okay, okay. My pocket mine got out of <laughs> I'm gonna walk straight up to him, but very politely, hand him over the fifty gold. You know, apologize for all the trouble. Yo, Thank give him the extra gold. Give him the five extra gold. <laughs> <laughs> no. no. <laughs> I'm just thinking about it with my. That good of a person. Uh, she's still evil. I'm still evil. I'll pay my debts, but I'm still evil. Alright. Minus 50 gold. Okay. Alright, are, are we I, finally done? I think we're done here. This took five hours. <laughs> it wasn't supposed to. <laughs> hey, you could have been like, fine, I'm sorry, here's a rope, and then we're like, cool. I'm a solid <laughs> power of that was also fighting. Piece of rope. Yep. Standards. <laughs> Standards. Right. Since then, gravel has earned my respect, and uh, I hate aura. <laughs> I've earned your respect. <laughs> yeah. I hate, me. I hate you too. Like it goes one way. Landed a right. solid chaos bolt right into the back of your temple. But also, I literally one tapped you with one action. <laughs> You almost, you literally were one safe from dying. Yeah, dude, I'm the first for time constructed paper. I wonder if Estelle respects me for just trying to grapple that one door. Estelle's gone. Estelle's <laughs> channel. Estelle's been gone. Estelle wants nothing to do with either of any of us. Alright. So that's this session over. Thank you all so much for being very entertaining. <laughs> I'm just glad I streamed this. <laughs> Alright. So you is that are, everything? Yeah, you're free to go. I'll DM you the gold so you can remember to, well, subtract it also, from the 45. Since yeah. the DM, uh, after this session, I'm gonna lead. Um, yeah, to the. Okay, I gotcha. Yeah. yeah. Words are hard. It's. It's early in the morning at this point. Yeah, yeah. We